Woo! Coffee's flowing. It's flowing. Hi, everyone. Steve Dangle here. And welcome to our SDPN watch along that we're going to be doing all playoffs long. More on that in a minute. It's a big night. Detroit! The Detroit! Do you know anyone who calls it Detroit? You have any of those people in your friend friend group? The Detroit Red Wings fighting for their playoff lives against the Toronto Maple Leafs who aren't. They can't really move up. They can't really move down. Can they move down? Let me look. They might be able to move down. I don't think so, though. Pretty sure they're just locked in against Florida as the visitor. Mm, no. Uh, Tampa could technically pass the Leafs if the Leafs lost every game and Tampa won every game. All right. All right. All right. But they can't move up. Leafs can't move up. But Austin Matthews is at 68 goals, too shy of 70. And two years ago, when Austin Matthews had 58 goals, was flirting with 60. He bagged two on a Saturday night against the Detroit Red Wings. Bob Cole used to say Detroit. Bob Cole saying Detroit is the reason a lot of people who I went to school with said Detroit. Detroit! Poll question in the chat right now. Will Matthews hit 70 tonight? I'm clicking yes. Hard yes. So if you've never been here before, Steve Dangle here on SDPN, we're going to be watching along uh, the Leaf game. I'm going to be letting you know uh, where we're at in the game since the game won't actually be on the screen. I'll let you know. Um... There will be a clock also. Thank you, Producer Drew. He knows I have baby brain and I'm operating. I'm operating on save mode. I'm going slow right now. But it'll be a great time. We've done a bunch of these. We're going to be doing them all throughout the playoffs. So let me tell you a little bit about that. Um, I wish I could tell you more, but we... we there's a few things in the way. Number one, we don't know the first round playoff schedule yet. We should be getting that, I believe, Friday. Um, and the other uh, issue is uh, we're not we we don't know the second, third, and fourth round of the playoffs because uh, they kind of got to play the first round in order for us to know that. But the initial plan is for me to do the Leafs streams for the Leafs for as long as they are in the postseason. So all four rounds. What? For all four rounds. For, um, and we're talking about doing other series too. Uh, I will not be doing the other series uh, because there's only one of me. And it's not enough me's. It's just not. Uh, Adam, I believe, is going to be, have we confirmed the series Adam is doing, Drew? Should I give that away? Okay, so we're still working on it. The plan is for Adam to do one. Shout out Justin Fisher, by the way, who's uh, going to be in the chat all night. Uh, the plan is for Adam to do one in the first round. We want to do a bunch of um, series, even just outside the Leafs. Um, and it's going to be difficult for me, toddler at home. Six week old at home. She turns six weeks old tomorrow. Feels like it was yesterday. My sleep does not feel like it was yesterday. I could go one night without sleep. Oh, let's get some happy birthday Adam in the chat because it is Adam Wilde's birthday. What is what's the SDPN breakdown? So it was Adam's birthday yesterday. Drew, it was your birthday. No, sorry, it's Adam's birthday today. Your birthday was yesterday, Drew. Julian's was the 11th? That's unbelievable. And then who was the 9th? Oh, Jesse. 
Jesse was on the ninth, so April tenth is the only day over the last like week where we haven't had a birthday. That's unbelievable. Whoa. Okay. Ryan Bannon, which leaf deserves more ice time and why is it Gregor? Uh, it ain't, it ain't, they gave him more ice time. He didn't do much with it. You know, I just, you got to score. He's an all right defensive player. You got to score and he just doesn't spiteful Gannon gifted five STPN memberships, which is beautiful. So if you're looking in the chat right now and wondering how all these people got all these emojis, that you don't recognize the Jesse heads, the Adam heads, mine. I think Drew is in there. CJ, Julian. Um, there's a bunch. There's a bunch. Do we have a, do we have that in there? We should. If you're wondering how people got those, it's because they're members of the STPN YouTube channel. So here's what that gets you. Your name shows up in green in the chat. Uh, you get the special emojis and everything. If you sign up for tier one, which I believe is $3.99 a month, um, you get SDP VIP, which is, uh, we do three episodes of the SDP every week. SDP VIP is the fourth episode that we do that you can only unlock. If you're an SDP VIP, you can do that on the SDP and YouTube channel or on Apple or on Spotify. Uh, and then you can do SDP VIP ad free. And that's, you get all four episodes of the SDP per week. That's the three normal ones and SDP VIP. You get all four of them completely ad free. People asked for that option and here you go. Listen, we need ads. We do. We got stuff to pay for. But if you're offering to pay for some of that, well, who am I to stop you? Why would I? <gasps> Hockey Night in Canada posting the Detroit Red Wings since March 1st wins tied for 30th points tied for 30th they, they are miserable. But that man right there who's on camera, they just showed Zach Aston Reese on the Red Wings bench. If you're wondering where the hell he ended up, there. He's actually played a lot of the season in the uh, minors. But uh, if you're looking for uh, someone uh, to maybe sprinkle a $2 Steve on for a goal tonight, eh, maybe Zach Aston Reese. Uh, Pesukaru. Kitos gifted five SDPN memberships. Kathy Lawson gifted five SDPN memberships. So this is the thing. You can buy a VIP membership for yourself, or if you're feeling super generous, you go to the chat, uh, you go to the bottom right corner of the screen, you click that little uh, dollar bill, a rectangle with a dollar sign in it, and it lets you gift memberships to people if you want. It also, I believe it allows you to upgrade your membership I'm not sure because I've already done that. And you can also do a super chat. A super chat um, is you give money to the YouTube channel that we're very appreciative of. And it uh, uh, prioritizes your comments. There's a billion comments in this chat. I can't read them all. Um, so it just helps prioritize that. Spiteful Ganon, if Poppy hits 70 this game, I'll gift 20 subs. Come on, Austin. The financial well-being of this channel depends on you. You son of a gun. Oh, I wish that was on screen right now. There was a Leaf employee there, this huge guy. I played road hockey with him once. Um, and this guy was being a dick on the other team and he got in my face. And then this that six foot seven dude got in his face. And I was like, okay, I understand enforcers now. This is awesome. <laughs> Uh, Wonder Davey, happy birthday, Drew and Adam. Brad! Thank you for that. Michael S. gifted five SDPN memberships. You guys are the best. Justin Fisher gifted 10 SDPN memberships. Your mom's birthday was the other day too, right? Everyone's birthday. Your mom. Uh, which thing is worse? The Arizona Coyote situation or Austin Matthews hairline? That's from... Uh, Ha Hawks 23. Um, the coyote situation, because that is, uh, you can always get a new hairline. <laughs> if you're the highest paid player in the NHL, you can always get a new hairline. Yeah. With Austin's bank account, you're good. 
uh, as it turns out, it is far more difficult to get an arena. Yeah, producer Drew pointing out, go go check out uh, Young LeBron's hairline, hairline, and now that's the biggest comeback in sports history. <laughs> I lose control. Spiteful Gannon. What's the odds they give uh, Aston Reese a tribute video? I don't think he's gotten one. James Reimer in that for the Red Wings, by the way. He's barely played. Uh, nine, eight, and two. Samsonov's record is preposterous. 23, seven, and seven. His save percentage is obviously garbage, but that is mostly because of the first three months of the season. He's been sick ever since, except for last game where he was not. Uh, underratedly, Matthews needs his 70th goal. We all know that. William Nylander, though, man, he was skating so well on Thursday. Couldn't buy one. Couldn't buy a goal. Couldn't buy an assist. We are underway uh, in Toronto. Nylander sitting on 96 points, and he's been sitting there for a couple games now. And it's not fair. But here we go. Leafs. No early icing. James Reimer out to play the puck. <gasps> Almost gives it away. <laughs> if you're a goaltender, give it to the blue team. That's a good rule, actually. I didn't even mean to be that clever. That is damn. One Canadian babe gives five Canadian subs. Thank you. Stop by Samsonov. Nice and early. Oh, my goodness. Two nice passes between uh, McMahon and uh, Mc, uh, Tavares and McMahon. Max Domi out there on the ice. Austin, he's in front of the net. Red Wings clear the zone. Oh, Comfer attacking Matthews, steals it from behind. Long stretch pass for Bertuzzi. Doesn't find him, Max Domi pursuing. Matthews, Domi Bertuzzi going to work on the cycle. And Matthews, just a nice quick shift to start the game. Samsonov playing it behind the net. Mark Wolf, Steve, am, uh, Steve, am I the only one that thinks the Pens making the playoffs is actually a... Playoffs now is actually a bad look for Dubas? Yes. What are you talking about? Like... I don't know. It all depends on how they do in the playoffs. It has nothing to do with getting there. If they get in and they have some success, all is forgiven. I don't think any Penguins fan begrudges how the season goes if they get in there and win a couple rounds. Who knows? Maybe even go all the way to the Stanley Cup final like Detroit did. Leafs third line attacking out there against Detroit. Holmberg, Robertson, Nylander. Come on, buddy. Nylander out there with Holmberg and Robertson as the Leafs continue to fight the injury bug. Benoit over to Holmberg. Oh, sorry, that was nice. It was like, I've never seen Holmberg take a slap shot my entire life. I didn't even know he could do one. David Kampf, ooh, slick move, ooh. Loses it. Wah. Stiff hit there from McCabe. Oh, Reeves is back in the lineup, by the way. He's out there right now. He's in pursuit, ooh! Decent little hit. That could have been a lot bigger. Not even three minutes into this thing. Riley Labushkin out there on the ice with the fourth line. Sammy makes the save, and that'll be a whistle. 17.09 to go in the first period. Tavares with the draw on uh, Dylan Larkin. I'll tell you in a minute what I'm laughing at. Red Wings win the offensive zone draw. Samson off with the little glove save there. Just got a piece of it. Leafs trying to just get out of their zone, and they do. Marner with it. Carries it in. Oh, you got McMahon right there, Mitch. He shoots it. He gets a face off there against James Reimer. There's a Habs Twitter account. 
uh, I think it's the Habitant, um, is accusing the uh, Arizona Coyotes um, statement from Alex Murello today, where he basically apologizes to the fans in all caps for some reason. Uh, they're saying it's uh, AI generated. Maybe. Ozone draw. Looks like Tavares is getting kicked out. Marner is going to take it. So for those of you who wanted Marner to be a center, got your wish for a moment. Marner. Loses the draw, but McMahon right on it, and he gets it to the point. Good job from Bobby McMahon. Lilligren back in the lineup, shoots it, blocked. Does a good job stepping up there. Red Wings turn it over. Putting pressure on Brody, though. He's got to giddy up, giddy up, and he gives it away. Yep, Red Wings hold the line. Uh, I didn't like that decision from Brody at all. It's not just because it ended poorly. It's just... You didn't have an option there. There wasn't a Leaf there. There was a Red Wing there. Puck luckily uh, looks like it went into the netting. And we will get a whistle. That is a mean mustache, Timothy Lilligren. Jonathan Peck. Hello, Steve. Hello, Jonathan. Uh, this is my first time watching SD, uh, an STPN live stream. I hope you have a great day from a Washington Capitals fan myself. Well, thank you. Tuck some of your kits. I know you're not Swedish, but whatever. Uh, Pesukaru, uh, my all time favorite Leaf players, Yurke Lume, Nicholas Hagman, Vesa Toskala, Akiberg, Kasperi Kapanen. But what do they all have in common? That's right, they were all Leafs. Face off is dropped, uh, 16 20 to go in the first period. Surprised you didn't say UC Runis. Matthews, he's out there, he's got the puck. 70 is on his stick. I know he's in the neutral zone. I don't care. Virtues. Oh! oh, Matthews, he had it. Ah, you had an open net. You made me scream. How dare you make me make that sound and not score? Uh, Jacob Hope hopes you enjoy your STP uh, VIP because he gifted one. What a nice guy. Dylan Larkin. Lucas Raymond, who had a great night the other night against Pittsburgh. Unfortunately, they still lost in overtime. And by unfortunately, I mean, I don't care what happens to the Detroit Red Wings. I'm a Leaf fan. Oy, Holmberg's probably going to get called for the trip. No, apparently not. Cool. Labushkin cannot get it out. Odd decision. Labushkin, take two. That one works. Holmberg. To Riley, who, what on earth happened there? Puck bouncing around. Leafs do gain the zone. Holmberg ends up with it. Smushed by Raymond, his countryman. Holmberg around Lilligren. How sweet it is. Holmberg with one hand on his stick. It's electrifying. Brody and Lilligren. This pair has worked. This pair has not worked. We'll see how it goes tonight. Sheldon Keefe just basically trying all his options, right? And Joel Edmondson not in the lineup as well. That affects things for sure. Lilligren gives it away. Tony West gifted five STPM memberships, you friggin' beauty. Luke Vela, who's been an STP VIP for two months. Hari Sateri was my favorite Leaf. Oh, wait. Good callback. Red Wings with the puck behind the Leafs net. Smart ass. Oh, one-timer! I don't know if that went off the side of the net or if Sammy stopped it. Either way, a good chance for Detroit. Fourth line out there for the Leafs in the D zone. One thing Sheldon Keefe and the Leafs have actually done a really good job of is uh, keeping the fourth line out of the defensive zone. And they get out on their own. It's Reeves with Camp and uh, Nyes. And I'm kind of thinking this might be the third line, or sorry, fourth line. Once Yarncroke gets back, I think Connor Dewar might be the odd man out. Ooh, nice. I think he's the last man out there for the fourth line. Can't get the pass. Matthews in front. Oh, what a move. Can't score on Reimer. He's had two pretty good chances already, man. 
I don't know if we're grading the chances on a curve because we're all a little excited. Just a little. Puck goes out of play. We got a whistle. 13.04 to go in the first period. Is this going to be our first commercial break? Sure looks like it. Matthews has had a couple real good chances. I think he put that one off the crossbar. I just realized I don't have the sound up for the game. So. All right. Yeah, producer is like, hey, it's stupid. Um. Phone, microphone. Oh, no, no. There, how are we doing? Hooray. Uh, Philip Bridgman, love the podcast and your LFRs. Thank you. Jets won 7 0 uh, against the Avs. Go, Jets, go. Love from Winnipeg. You know, it was Drew's birthday yesterday, and uh, I just, it's a rude comment. You're making, you're making him sad. You're making my friend sad. That's not nice. Did I break it? Is it good? Are we good? You took me off the screen until <laughs> producer Drew has taken me off the screen until you apologize. Wow. Wow. See, I thought you were kidding and something was wrong. You actually did that to punish them. Wow. Wow. Hope, hope you all feel better about yourselves. Making Drew cry. Steve's evil twin is Stefan Dongle. Ooh. Blue White Flame. I would love to see my Knights go against the Leafs in the Stanley Cup final this year. Bro, me too. I don't give a crap who the Leafs play, like as long as they get there. Thirteen oh four to go in the first period as we return from commercial break. John Tavares on the draw with Larkin, and he wins it to Labushkin, who shovels that thing in. Bit of a rugby scrum there in the neutral zone. Red Wings get it now. Liu Bushkin gets out. Uh, Rahan, is Scotiabank Arena less full during weekday games? It's possible. Like, I mean, just because the tickets are paid for doesn't mean everyone goes. I think you're probably overthinking it. <laughs> it's mostly full. I've been there on a Tuesday. It's, I mean, people are tired. People are jacked on a Saturday, man. They haven't been working all day, most of them. Unless you work in hockey, in which case, well, it's the life you chose. Bobby McMahon gets the puck out. Xander, Matt Murray taking the Leafs to the final? God, I hope so. Listen, I hope he doesn't play any games for the Leafs just because uh, he hasn't played hockey in a year, and when he did, he wasn't very good. Oh, Lilligren! Head right into the boards, and he's going right off. Nick Robertson was the first guy on the scene to stick up for him. It's not a big group of guys out there. Lilligren, he's favoring that shoulder. Ah, uh, shoot. Is Joe Valeno? Yo, that's a brutal hit, dude. He drives it. This honestly should be five. I don't want to be a homer. He sees numbers the whole way and just drives the hell out of Lilligren's head right into the dasher. Drew, you agree? Yeah, it's a bad one, man. Even if Lilligren, like, stays in the game, that's got to be five. Two? Oh, stop. Lilligren's staying on the bench. Oh, no, he's not. He's leaving. Oh, that's terrible. That's a terrible call. That's terrible. That's terrible. What is five, then? 
What would it take for five? He dies? That's terrible. John Tavares is in the faceoff dot in the offensive zone. That's friggin' terrible. 11.53 to go in the first period. Scrambled draw. Detroit with it behind their net. Completely mystifying call from the officials. What's five? He sees numbers for the better part of a weekend and smashes the guy's head into the boards with force. Matthews gains the zone. Drew said a stretcher could have come. Oh, easy. Oh, my God. William Nylander setting up Mitch Marner for maybe the most wide open goal of his entire career. Valeno out of the box. He should be out of the game. Looks good on you. Marner's uh, first goal since uh, returning from injury, I believe. Yeah, all the Detroit Red Wings are following Matthews, and it opens up space for his teammates. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Marner's a pretty good goal scorer, too. It's one of the things he's probably improved on most in his career and Reimer's nowhere near that crew kid. Hello, Mr. Steve. What are your thoughts on the Rangers going from first round exit and third place last year to potential number one seed in the playoffs? Um, well, I don't think any Rangers fan is going to care unless face off is dropped. Puck is dropped. Sorry. 1125 to go in the first period. I don't think any Rangers fan is going to care unless there's playoff success. There has to be playoff success. Matthew Nyes, oh, Ryan Reeves, generating offense, bud. It feels like once a game, he's in there doing something productive. Nyes, nice move. Nyes, strong. I know it's Nick, uh, Nick, Goss Bear, Shane Goss Bear. I forgot his first name for a sec. Nyes in front. Oh, he had camp there. He had Reeves. I don't hate the idea of just throwing it in front. Samsonov just jumped out of the air to get the puck with his chest. David Kampf, the last man out there for the fourth line as the Leafs try to get reinforcements over the boards. Raymond throws it in front. Oh, good defensive job there by the Leafs. Detroit doesn't even get a shot. Top line out there. Matthews doesn't have the puck yet. Labushkin. Oh, giveaway. Great defensive stick from Tyler Bertuzzi. And here come the Leafs nearly halfway through the first period. Austin Matthews in front for Bertuzzi. They lose it and ooh, collide a little bit. Here comes Detroit the other way. Two on one. Partial. Raymond passes it. That's a great two on one buried by the Red Wings. And you can see from the celebration, these guys are fighting for their lives. Raymond to Alex to Brinkett. And just over the halfway mark, 9.58 to go in the first period. It's 1-1. The Leafs should still be on the power play. It should have been a five-minute major, but NHL. Cassie, you don't need to know. Question for both Steve and Drew. If both your teams are out in round one, first of all, how dare you? Uh, who are you rooting for and why? Also, side note uh, tonight is Eric Carlson's 1,000th game. I didn't know that. Um, uh, dude, I'm not cheering for teams. If the Leafs get out, face uh, puck is dropped, twenty fifth of the season for Debrinket. Um, I'm not cheering for teams. I'm cheering for people. Like you know, I don't want the Oilers to win, but I wouldn't mind if McDavid did. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that's a good answer. Drew says Crosby to get a fourth. I mean, God, what a story that would be. They were dead a month ago. Del Tago gifts five SDPN memberships. Let's go. Owen V, Valeno versus Reeves has to happen, eh? Uh, I was about to say, has, has does Joe Valeno have an NHL fight? Probably not. How many penalty minutes does he have this season? 23. Uh, that's an odd number. So it means he's got at least one major in there. He should have had two. Friggin' hitting from behind. That was, uh, that was terrible. Whatever. Uh, Matt Wilkins, uh, me 30 seconds ago. Uh-oh, Debrinkat is slumping. Yeah. You should have kept that thought even deeper in your head. A 
Is Twitter losing their mind about that hit? That is so bad. Uh, Producer Drew is uh, asking me to criticize Riley for the bad pinch on the two-on-one. I'd have to see it again. I believe you. (laughs) I wish I didn't. Morgan Riley, by the way. Um, I was doing some research for another thing is, and I got to look this up just to confirm. No. Okay. Morgan Riley is third out of all players drafted in 2012 in scoring. I'm serious. He has 469 points. Thomas Hurdle is second, uh, with two, uh, sorry, 486. Philip Forsberg, here's how far ahead he is of everyone. No one has 500 except for Forsberg, who has 603. That draft sucked, but he was easily the best player. Easily the best player from that draft. He was picked with an avalanche pick? Oh, the Avs traded it to Washington. Washington fumbled the bag on that so hard for Martin Erad, who had two goals as a capital. Face-off. There's 9.30 to go in the first period. Top line on the ice. That means Austin Matthews. Leafs dump it. Clock is on the screen, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, good. 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 Detroit heaves it into the offensive zone. Simone Benoit with it. What a bullet of a pass to nobody, and that'll be icing. Present day, 20XX. uh, Leafs apparently seeing if the mustard cupcake is going to taste good this time. Oh, no. 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 Was it Riley Brody out there on purpose? Or did it just end up that way? If it ends up that way, it's one thing. If you try it on purpose, then you're stupid. Stupid. Jesse saying Riley Brody was out there on purpose. Well, then I'm sad. Detroit just misses the net there. When it, when is Sheldon gonna? What do they see? Just one last try before the playoffs to make sure. I don't even, like, I was going to say, oh, maybe situationally in the offense. No! No! Well, actually, wait, 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 wait. I just realized Brody's defense partner is out of the game. The Leafs only have 5D. How wasn't that 5? How? brutal i don't i don't think Valino has to fight reeves he should have to fight someone it shouldn't be max domi uh he missed practice yesterday um and he's on the top line and he's going to be on the top line when the playoffs start i don't need him fighting joe Valeno. someone volunteers I'd say Simone Benoit, but I don't need another friggin' defenseman out of the lineup. Leafs in the offensive zone. Willie. Riley. Oh, yeah, John right there. Marner. Sick pass. Marner. Marner. Tavares. Almost Marner. I was ready to yell it again, but pass didn't get to him. Jake McCabe. Good choice there. Brody. Yeah, now Brody's out there with McCabe. This is going to be a mess, unfortunately. Like, uh, when there's only five out there, it's tough. I hope Lilligren comes back for the second. I don't understand. I don't understand what a five-minute major is then. I don't understand. Patrick Patrick, Steve, Flyers fan here. Please beat the Red Wings. Also, my birthday is March 12th, 1988. You and I were born on the same day. Look at that. Listen, I didn't care if Detroit won this game. And then they hurt Lilligren, and now I hope they get screwed. So, 
Sounds good. Oh, Labushkin! Nice hit. On uh, Aston Reese. Aston Reese, who can go? Nice. Dumps it. I don't know why Reimer just put his hand up there. It wasn't icing. That was confusing. Red Wings dump it. Crew Kid, uh, question. What is the ice speed velocity of an unladen maximum domey? 69 kilometers an hour, probably. Riley tries to get it around. Oh, boy. Fired wide. Leafs third line hemmed in right now. No! Goal. Detroit, another one-timer there. Uh, it's the huge guy. What's his name again? Isn't it Elmer or something? Edmondson. He's friggin' huge. I don't know. If someone's name is Elmer, you remember it, right? Who's the huge, huge guy? Edvinson. Edvinson? Evanson? Big celebration. Two goals on seven shots. It'd be nice to get a save, but I mean, those are two very wide open opportunities for Detroit. Del Tago gifts another five memberships. I'm pretty sure he's doing that every time the Leafs get scored on. You're mean. What baffles me? Oh my God. Sammy with the save there. Boys, tighten up. Jesus. Well, now Matthews has more reason to score two. He's got to get the game tying goal and the game winner. What the f How is this play still going? They're all over Samsonov. Raymond fell on Samsonov. He like held the guy. Oh, you stink. Who is calling this game tonight? You are brutal. Spiteful Gannon. What baffles me most is they could have just called it five and reviewed it. Yes, exactly. Person with brain cells. This, this league is just terrible. It's terrible. Scoutingtherefs.com. So if that puck went in, it wouldn't have counted. So how is the place still going? He grabbed his head. Ugh. This is Drew and I's like peace treaty game, by the way. <laughs> like Avs fan hates the Red Wings. Hattrick Patrick gifts five STPN memberships. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Producer Drew says there's nothing he hates more than Eisenman getting credit for building the lightning because he wasn't there when they won. Uh oh. Spicy. All right, let's click on it. Where is it? Detroit. <laughs> Does Dubix get credit if the Leafs win this year? Oh, ho, ho, ho. I mean, some. Some. Drew says none. Uh, Pierre Lambert and Francois Saint Laurent are the uh, officials tonight. Uh, Trent Knorr and Ryan Daisy are the linesmen. This is actually extremely rare. Um, there are not many combinations of um, referees and linesmen in the NHL that don't feature a single person from Ontario. This one doesn't. Uh, BC, uh, MA, I believe, is Massachusetts. Uh, Greenfield Park, Quebec, and Saint Hubert, Quebec. <laughs> Crew kid, maybe some NHL official son is on the Red Wings. Maybe. Man, I gotta say, last night I finally finished uh, Burke's Law, Brian Burke's book. We're obviously in commercial break, by the way. Um. I think it's the best hockey book I've ever read. Like it was the audio book, but he narrates it in his Brian Burke voice. And, uh, if you have 25 bucks to spare, 
It's eight and a half hours. Dude, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. The reason I bring that up is he talked about, um, oh, face off, one by Detroit. Dan O'Halloran, I think, is a ref. And the, everyone who Burke ever had a fight with, he's like, yeah, but now we're friends. And one of the few who didn't really get that leash is Dan O'Halloran. He was like, I lost a lot of respect for him. And it was after the Dennis Weidman incident. I won't ruin the whole thing for you, but it's a fantastic book. Simone Benoit rushing the puck. Benoit. George Hurdle, I don't think I can read that. <laughs> That's not nice. How dare you? Also, no, that's not their names. I just read you their names. Detroit gains the leave zone. Labushkin takes the puck off. Joe Valeno shouldn't be in this frigging game. That's such a good point about just give them five and then review it. The NHL gave referees a get out of jail free card and they still frig it up. They're the worst. They're the worst. Reeves. Almost high stick Reimer in the head. Nye's chasing it. Uh, Nye's is going to go to the box. Stick and fraction. Got to call those. Yeah, that's the exact same as what happened to Lilligren. Good, good job. Way to earn those paychecks, Stripes. Way to earn those paychecks. Get that arm up there. Do those dumbbell presses. Make sure you get them all. You friggin' stink. Christine McAvoy. Pre-playoff baby face Leafs. Steve, ready for your beard? I'm cheating already. I don't think I'm going to shave. I might shave tomorrow and that'll be it. Oh, and it was on Valeno. Valeno who got hooked in the hands and fell. You are a disgrace. Is Steve over the non-call? No. Oh, you're a disgrace. You're a disgrace. You're a disgrace. Producer Drew is uh, bringing up Jordan Eberle breaking Cogliano's neck. Did he break his neck? And he was out for the season and there was no penalty? It was two minutes. There you go. Sick league. So sick. Leafs on the penalty kill. 3.20 to go in the first period. 30 seconds killed here. Oh! Good one-timer for Detroit. Stopped, I believe, by Samsonov. Penalty kill. Cuts off the pass. Marner gets it out. Good job. A little over three minutes to go in the first period. Penalty almost halfway done. Leafs clear it again. George Turtle, if they don't want to be talked about, they should use their gosh darn eyes as intended. No, it's too much to ask. Asking them to do their job. Detroit sends it around. Irresponsible play. Oh, never mind. I thought Kampf was going to pick that up, but Detroit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Detroit scores to bring Cat. I mean, again, God, you'd like a save, but Jesus. They're just leaving Sammy out to dry. These are three, like, point-blank chances off of laser beams. Like, I don't know what he's supposed to do. Del Tago gifts another five. Thanks. <laughs> like, Sammy, uh, he makes a save. He, he directs it away from the net. No one's there, man. The penalty kills shambolic. Three one down the Leafs are. Uh, who hates the Leafs right now? Penguins fans? Ah, feelings mutual. Shut up. Uh Detroit bombs it. Caught up in the slot. Like, play some defense, guys. Holy sh man. Bertuzzi. 
gets his stick on that. Get out of your friggin' zone. Like, season's not over. Get your head out of your ass. Under two minutes to go. Such a good dad phrase. Get your head out of your ass. Uh, Misfit says, Leafs play bad in first, always come out in second. Would it kill him to do the whole thing? Robertson takes down his man. Oh, Tavares! Ah, I can't get a hold of it. Robertson out there with Tavares. Sheldon Keefe got the blender out. Marner across for Jake McCabe. Puts a soft one into the corner. Robertson, got to be careful to protect his neck. Doesn't want to get it snapped by one of the Red Wings for a two-minute minor. Marner on the blue line. Oh, what a pass to Tavares. He can't handle it. Robertson leaves it for Marner. Marner on, doesn't get through. You had other options there, Mitch. And the puck is now out of the zone. That was not a great play. Matthew's out there for the final 40 seconds of the first period. I cannot get over that friggin' hit. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, would they have called five if Lily stayed down? Uh, yes. Pretend like you're dead. They're never going to learn. Oh, no. Okay, Sammy. Jesus, Lord. David Perron scores. It's 4-1 before the end of the first period. Under 17 seconds to go. Lilligren is out there. Geez, Sammy might not play the second. Sammy was... Sammy was unreal for like four months. And these past four periods have been easily his worst since returning. That's a terrible goal. That can't go in. Oh, the anger. Sammy! That's terrible. All world yips. What do you even do? What do you even do? The, like, you have a good goalie, and at a moment's notice, you don't. How many situations are there like this in the league? Where a guy just shuts it off at the drop of a hat. What are you supposed to do with that information? Other than definitely don't sign him. The dude burned millions of dollars over the course of three months. He earned it all back over the course of four. And it's been about 42, 78 hours. Or 48, 72 hours. He's lit it all on fire. You can't depend on this guy. This guy's going to play the Panthers? You can't depend on this guy. That's horrible. Name tags. We all know once Detroit hits 4-1, it will be over. You know what? You're not wrong. Did Del Tago hit us with another five? You better. One sec. One sec. I'm sending a mean tweet. <sighs> I said, would have been sick to get a five minute power play for the thing that deserved it, but you got to pretend like you're dead. So it's, it's just not a very good league. Uh, SDPN, pull Sammy. Yes. Yes. Sammy has the yips. Um, there's two more games left this season. You can play him. Um, but like, if you leave him in, God, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Does Sheldon Keefe need this? Like, I know a lot of people don't like the guy. Does he need this? 
Does does Brad Treliving need this? He's been one of the best goalies in the NHL since January 1st. That is not hyperbole. It's not hyperbole. His save percentage is like over 910, which is very, very above. It's, it's at very least average. I think it's on the upper side of average. He's 23, 7 and 7. Was that his record? He essentially hasn't lost in regulation. Dude turns into a pumpkin on the eve of the playoffs. How are you supposed to plan? What, how do you just live your life? How do you run a business? Awful. Holy smokes. Oh, I was trying to stick up for him those first three, but that fourth one's freaking awful. Oh, I mean, uh, Matthew's hitting 70 and Leafs lost sounds right. You're so right. Del Tago, does Matt Murray see playoff action? Yes. It's the Leafs. Like, I don't know. Imagine the worst case scenario. It's happening. Yeah, producer Drew saying, like, you have to give Samson off one of the back-to-back games. The only... <sighs> See, this is why I think you leave him in, maybe. Maybe you leave him in so that he has this game. I'd be okay with this being... His... Like, if, if he plays the second and third period okay, then you go, all right, he had a crappy period, whatever. He gets a week off, and then you know, you play him game one of the playoffs. And if that sounds like he'll be rusty, remember the thing that saved his season was not playing games. But who knows? Maybe saved season nothing. Uh, Paul Douglas, with this horrible refs, uh, is it hard not to swear? Yes, it is. Uh, Matthew Williamson, uh, you may have done this on the pod, but if you could take one Leaf player from the past and drop them into this lineup, who would it be and why? Um, you can assume they'd be in their prime and relatively uh, as good as they were. Uh, Wendell Clark, so that he can um, uh, put Joe Valeno in full mount and, and not stop until the cops come. Do you know how hard it is having producer Drew in my ear all the time? I said Wendell Clark. Drew goes, terrible answer. And I go, okay, not every Leaf fan is high on Wendell Clark. I wonder who he's going to say. He goes prime Ed Belfour. He wasn't even the best Leaf goalie of the early 2000s. What's wrong with you? Yeah, yeah, no, he'd be in his Leafs prime, not his actual prime. Ed Belfour in his prime is on the Chicago Blackhawks. What are you talking about? You're a silly goose. Yeah, Cujo. Kajo. Oh, Philly gets the one nothing lead on uh, New Jersey. Robert Bett says David Ayers to the rescue. Oh, Flyers won. There you go. Did Washington beat Tampa? Yeah. Uh, here, you know what? Uh, name tag says, remember, Muzz won back-to-back -back cups as a rookie. Muzz? Like Jake Muzzin? You mean Matt Murray. Is his nickname Muzz? Surely not. Anyway, listen, let's, uh, let's go to a clip so I can take a break. Ooh, we got a four-minute clip from the VIP episode about Lenny Kravitz and his uh, uh, workout attire. Take it away. Now, I want to ask you if this is too much. I don't want to play TMZ videos. 
You don't? I'm, I'm afraid they'll take us down. Okay. Dude, can your you whole just, thing is, I'm can, a lawyer. Can you just... Uh, by the way, this is this was on social media, the reason I have it. Uh, so I can actually pull it from social media. Hold on. Hold on. Hold yes, on. but it's, it's posted by TMZ. Okay. Well, let me get the social media video then. Is that cool? Can I get that? Is it 50 cents? Uh, why can't we just look at the, the images? Well, because I got the Instagram video from this person. If you would like oh, me to, yeah, but it, Kravitz? I uh, okay. Like, we just look at the images, All right? Yeah. So, what do we think of this, Lenny Kravitz working out in a mesh shirt and leather pants? <laughs> I mean, there's no way he showed up like that. Like this has got to be for the gram, right? I think so. Now he's in incredible shape. The guy's like sixty. Uh, he's, no, he's in absolutely preposterous shape. Yeah, outrageous. Um, yeah, he's fifty nine years old, Lenny Kravitz. And he's working out in leather pants. And I just want to ask, mm -hmm. do you think, do you believe that that is how he works out every day? No. You think that's just an Instagram thing like you yes. went to? Jesse, do you believe that Lenny Kravitz works out like that? Uh, no, but like, the, <laughs> I think the, the bigger faux pas is the guy who's holding his legs, who has sunglasses on. Yeah, well, I think he's and got Lenny's sunglasses on. Yeah, but when you're, when you're in front of a star that bright, Jesse. Yeah, true. This is, is, is a lot going on from Lenny. Yeah, I mean, his abs have abs. They do. It's frustrating for me as, look at that bullshit! Oh, my God. Now, here's what I am getting sick of, though, because this is happening a lot, is mm -hmm. people show photos of celebrities that are about Lenny Kravitz's age. And they're like, can you believe... Yes. What? Okay, look at me, right? Mm -hmm. Look, look at me. Look at the, look at the. I either have two chins or none. I definitely don't have one, right? That's just how my body is structured. Dude, I'd have abs if I was freaking rich too. Yeah, how you're not bad looking. You're just poor. Like that's how that's the, <laughs> what that's the saying, right? It's like it's like they're people that are supermodels right now, and you saw pictures of them when they were teenagers, and you're like. Oh, so you just got worked at. I would hire someone to come around and, you know, smack all the snacks out of my hand. Like the, the second I yeah. up. Yeah. Well, if you had somebody making every meal for you, then it's kind of easy. Yeah. You think, you, wh when was the last time Lenny Kravitz cooked something? <laughs> Lenny Kravitz. Have you, He's have been you ever famous seen, my entire life. Have you ever seen, um, interestingly, have you ever seen uh, Kendall Jenner cutting a cucumber? No. She doesn't know how. I, I don't. She cuts it like backwards. No, like, I don't think anything about the Kardashians is authentic. I, I think every one of those videos that goes viral of them doing something wrong is on purpose. Oh, do you, yeah? Yeah, that's my, that's one of the conspiracies I subscribe well, to fair. is everything they do is manufactured. Okay. That'd have to be a pretty creative person to manufacture that, but okay. I mean... They're, but even so, they're billionaires and are on TV constantly. The point remains: I don't think rich people cook a lot unless they got rich by cooking, that's like it. Gordon Ramsay. That's it. Well, you know, Jamie Oliver. I would imagine he can cook. But does Jamie Oliver cook for himself every night? Wouldn't think so. If you owned a restaurant, would you cook? That's that's a lot of pressure. Being his cook. Oh yeah, that's a lot of pressure. Yeah, it's right? a lot. Jesse, what do you got? What are you thinking? Uh, in terms of. Yeah, no, that's the way to go. You don't cook food for yourself. No, you're rich. Yeah, exactly. No, I would. I would also have like those weird veiny bumps next to my obliques or whatever. <laughs> it's, it's different too when your job is being a rock star. Yeah. Like his job was to be a sex symbol for thirty years, and he's probably going to keep it up. Yeah, he's probably yeah, going on no. tour soon. It's not exactly my bread and butter. Yeah, I don't think requ a requirement of being a hockey YouTuber is having abs. Yeah, I don't get up and go. Uh oh, I need to be hot, or I'm not going to sell as many. You don't tickets. think Sex Appeal sold the channel? Not this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. No. Well, would you, would you watch more videos if I had more Sex Appeal? Hmm. What did Jesse Blake say? You're not fat. You're just poor. Hell yeah. Oh, Adam said that? Damn, Steve. Ever since Christmas, you're looking kind of poor. <laughs> hey, uh, you know, uh, being poor runs in my family. That's not even true.
I should not be this fat. I like food. I do. I don't even, I, I can't even remember the last time I had a beer. It's so frustrating. Anyway, Michael S. gifted five STPN memberships. Thank you. Does SDPN have sex appeal? I am not appreciating how many of you are voting no. How dare you? We're over 50%, though. That's a passing grade. That's a passing grade. Um, Gerard Brussel. Uh, Elmer Soderblom is the 6'8 forward you are thinking of. He's in the AHL. Simon Ev Edvinson is 6'6 six, six and was their 2020 sixth over 2021 sixth overall pick. That's silly and nuts. Shay, thank you for the dollar. The dollar. Wow, the Red Wings have some really tall people. Holy crap. Listen. I think two things, well, three. I think three things can be right at once. Whoa! Clayman gifted 10 SDPN memberships. Thank you. Way to help the business. I think three things can be right all at once. Number one. The boarding penalty from Valeno on Lilligren was a million percent a five-minute major, five in a game, get the frig off the ice and take your crap off, go home. It was absolutely five, and it wasn't called that way, and it completely changed the complexion of the game. That's number one. Number two, the Leafs' defense has been miserable in front of Samsonov tonight. Miserable. Awful. And the first three goals were, I mean... They're just no help gimmies. Number three is the fourth goal was miserable. Like I'm talking one of the worst goals he's allowed this year. <laughs> and that's saying something. Um, who's feeling good about the Toronto Maple Leafs right now? Like I know it's not necessarily an important game for the Leafs. Um, it's important for, for guys to look like they're playing well. And Samsonov has dialed the clock right back to December. Everyone in that building feels terrified right now. It's bad. It's not good. Clayman says, let's go Red Wings. Dear God, this season is weird. No kidding. Carter Haddon. How does it feel that we study you and SDPN and RTA? Ooh, I would love to know what you guys say. Actually, no, I would not. <laughs> I'm, I, it's not about you guys. Uh, I wonder what the professors say. And I got, I got nothing but good things to say about the professors um, that I had in radio and television arts. Um, but you know, as someone who talks about the job that other people do for a living, I read some of the things that people say about, you know, decisions we make. And, you know, it's not like we're perfect. You know, we make some good decisions, we make some bad. But then I see like, oh, they did this because, and then they walk through step by step one thing that is more wrong than the next. And I'm like, oh, okay. Like, Sometimes you just don't know. I I look at the Arizona Coyotes and their situation, and I'm willing to talk mad crap about Alex Morello. I am. I also don't know. Do any of us know? No one can say concretely that they even that they know what that guy's doing. I don't even think he can, if I'm gonna be totally honest. Chrissy Do. Welcome to STP VIP. So producer Drew says uh, Alex Morello is making six hundred million profit. That's not totally true. If you listen to the latest episode of Agent Provocateur, holy crap! Uh, the if you want to understand the Arizona situation from scratch, go listen to the most recent Agent Provocateur with Alan Walsh and Adam Wild on STPN. It's right here on this YouTube channel, and also the most recent from Thursday episode of the Chris Johnston show with Chris Johnston, CJ and uh, Julian McKenzie. Uh, the two of them just bring so many angles to an impossible to understand situation. And Alan Walsh kind of breaks down the finances. Like 
Morello is going to make away with a sizable profit from selling the Coyotes to the league, who will then sell it to Ryan Smith and the Utah Jazz and, and all that stuff. Um, but it's maybe not quite the amount of money you think. I was listening to uh, to uh, that episode today of Agent Provocateur. Connor O'Shea, do you want to win uh, performance or Matthew scoring? Dude, if he's going to hit 70, I'd like them to win the friggin' game. I really would. So here's what's going to be really interesting. Detroit has a 4-1 lead. Hockey teams, when they get a big lead, tend to sit back. Detroit can't defend and they don't have goaltending. Could be a very interesting final couple periods. Uh, from Shea, think about it. It was too much for a super chat to just put it out there. What are you talking about? What was your last one? Think about what? What was your last one? I'm so confused. I remember you. But there have been so many things. Hello, Cam. Thank you. Good to see you. <sighs> Chris Tanev, do you know how many times I had to read that to understand what the clever puck is dropped for the second period? By the way, you know what I forgot when David Perron scored? Because I was so upset with Ely Samsonov. Noted, Alan Walsh client, David Perron. By the way, it appears Samsonov is still in the leaf net. Interesting. We'll see how it goes. Leafs, I mean, I think it's also worth mentioning the Leafs only had six friggin' shots in the first period, and that sucks. They got out shot 13 to 6. That sucks. Bobby McMahon not on the bench for the Leafs. Oh my God! Bubble wrap these guys until the playoffs start. Holy! Denver is up uh, two nothing on Boston in the Frozen Four Finals. Thank you, Drew <gasps> Matthews. Oh, stop by Reimer. He's had three really good opportunities tonight. Christine McAvoy, you got to say, don't miss the scoreboard watching. Me neither. Typical Goosey says, think about it, Steve. What am I thinking about? I'm frightened. Eighteen fifty to go in the second. Matthews out there for the ozone. No, he's not. Just outside of the blue line. Draw. Leafs might be offside right now. Nah, it doesn't matter. Detroit clears it anyway. No. Labushkin can't clear the zone. Matthews does it himself. Loses the puck. Here comes Detroit. Partial two on one. Jeez. They are not playing well at all tonight. Icing on the Leafs. First line is out there, which is good, but they're stuck out there, which is bad. We don't like that. Luke Jacobs updated Western Conference final prediction. Oh, Whew. let me think on that for a couple minutes. Face off in their own zone. Leafs get it out. I think this will just be another. Uh... Nope, not icing. Almost. Good clear. Leafs fourth line out there now. About two minutes gone here in the second period. Lilligren is out there for the second. I mean, he was out there for the fourth goal, but he's out there for the second as well. Shea Andrus, 420 live stream with everyone involved. Oh. Game one is supposed to be on 420. Here's the thing. I am a dad. 
of a newborn. Paul Douglas, remember, baby brain is a real thing. It is, dude. My short-term memory over the last month is shot. Detroit, I mean, Sammy made a save there. That's another point-blank chance. He makes another decent save there. Like, the fourth goal was really, really bad. It was really bad. Samsonov should have had it. The first three, ah, jeez. <laughs> oh, my God. Here comes Detroit. Sammy clears it. Whoop. Benoit gets to it. Joseph says, Avs are going to rebound and go on another elite playoff run. That'd be fun. Drew says, no chance. I was about to say, everyone still thinks the Avs are good. Drew doesn't. You know what, though? He always says the Avs are bad. Craig Simpson on the broadcast right now is breaking down just how awful defensively the Leafs were in the first period. Like, uh, no one wants to hear this right now. I really only pin one of those on Sammy. You need a save? You do. You need a friggin' save. But the defense, I think, might have been worse than him in the first period. Lilligren can't clear it. Riley gets it behind the net. Good job. No panic. Riley out there with Lilligren, which is a interesting development. I think yesterday at practice, that's how they were paired up. Tavares, better watch the hold. Careful, careful, careful. Marner, Nylander, Tavares is the line. Sheldon Keefe likes to play this sometimes. I think part of the reason for this is McMahon is not on the Leaf bench. Um, but it's entirely possible Keefe might have gone with this anyway. Good desperation effort from uh, Tavares, or Marner rather. Red Wings knocked it out of play. The reason I paused is I was thinking that might be a delay a game, but they were in the offensive zone, so it's not. Robert Bett, if it's Aves, I'm kidding, Aves Leafs in the cup final, will you and Drew's friendship make it? He, whew, he's going to be in my ear. <laughs> he is going to be in my ear. Our friendship will make it. Drew would be on the screen. Let's be serious. You're so right. Oh my God. Insignificant Nick. Uh, what are you thinking about this game? How bad I want to go to bed. <laughs> I love my job, but I don't want to play this card, but like, if you don't have kids, you don't understand how friggin' tiring it is. It's, it's not like when people talk about, having a kid being hard it's not hard in that it's complicated if it were complicated uh leafs in the offensive zone by the way like if it were difficult to do like making a space shuttle the planet wouldn't have eight billion people on it but it does people find a way it's hard in that it is just exhausting it's so tiring it's the same simple tasks over and over and over and over and over and over and over again and just not a whole lot of sleep but who cares leafs are playing saturday night let's go baby Woo! leafs top line in the offensive zone bertuzzi to matthews leafs have it at the point labushkin down for matthews tries to throw it in from a bad angle and a high sticking call who's that going against detroit I think so. Bertuzzi! Oh, man. This guy takes too many offensive zone penalties. Oh, get out of here. He was in a battle in front of the net, and there was another red wing behind him, and Bertuzzi clipped him with his stick. I know it's one they have to call, but friggin' get out of here. Brutal whistle tonight. 
Uh, Canuck says parenting without support from the family is re- relentlessly exhausting. I have lots of support. We have lots of support. We're super lucky in that regard. And it's still hard. Marner. Nifty play. He's going in two on three with David Kampf. Turns it over to Detroit, but 20 seconds killed. Congratulations, Jordan. Detroit with it at the point. A penalty kill here would be sick. Ah, Detroit, another wide open chance. Rebound, Marner, good job. Leafs, two on two, but those are some tired legs. You should probably take this opportunity to get off, and they will. McCabe rings it around. Whoa! Whoa, Marner, almost too many men. He dove onto the bench. Penalty half killed now. Shot 17-7 to for Detroit. That is the opposite of good. Oh, it's really good for them. Should mention that. It's really good for them. Puck behind the Leafs net, wasting time. Now 40 seconds. Whoa, that camera angle was jarring. Holy crap. Red Wings come out of the scrum with the puck. Another wide open man. Watch it, watch it. Nylander can't clear it. Shoulder check there would have been sick. Straight up shot from Daniel Sprong, and it goes out of play. One of the strongest jaw lines in the NHL. So, producer Drew says the Leafs, uh, sorry, the Lightning lost to Washington. That's official. So, the Leafs are officially locked into the three seed. So, this game officially means nothing uh, in terms of winning it, but I want them to win because I like them. And also, I want Matthews to score two goals tonight. Nice block from Matthews. Can't clear the zone, though. Penalty almost done. Whistle. Was that offside? So, okay, they're showing Bobby McMahon's final shift. Knee? Oh, no. A bit of a hyperextension of the knee? He skates off okay. Craig Morgan, Craig Morgan, uh, uh, Craig Simpson says, uh, you hate to guess wild guessing, but I think he's right. Leafs kill the penalty officially. Bertuzzi in pursuit. Samson, what the, f- okay. It works. Matthews finds Brody eventually. Brody rings it around the boards, deep into the zone. Max Domi just out of reach. Move those feet. Bertuzzi in the corner for Max. Turns it over. The Chaos Twins go to work. Matthews tries to steal it. Can't. Leaves can't hold the zone. Cam A says Salt Lake City missionaries. But when they score a score instead of a goal horn, you hear a doorbell. That's terrible. Riley, coming in. That is terrible. Here come the Red Wings. Uh, They drop it. Larkin takes the puck for a walk. Iggy's in the room with me. I looked over at him when I said that. I'm just making sure he... Didn't get the wrong idea. Lilligren attacking. Gives it to Marner. Marner, Nylander, Tavares out there again, by the way. Leafs need three goals to tie it. It'd be sick if they got one here. Leafs lose the zone. Too much to ask. Here come the Red Wings. Oh, my God. Good stop there from Sammy. Uh, I mean, he's been making saves. Robertson, whoa! Just rips the thing. 
Ah, uh, he gets his 14th of the season again because he scored it the last game but had it disallowed because he went offside. Oh boy. Boy boy boy. Ah. Uh, he's making it real hard to keep him out of the lineup. <laughs> he's making it real hard. Sticks up for his teammate. Like the, he scores that all on his own. He goes blue line defensive blue line in and just rips the thing. Rhymers in pretty decent position, maybe a little too deep in his net. Eh, he's at the top of the crease. Producer Drew, yeah, it's like left-handed Phil Kessel right there. Robertson with the third best shooting percentage on the Leafs, according to uh, the Hockey Night broadcast. Patrick Kane high sticks Simone Benoit in the face. Benoit goes down. Pick your face. Do the tie domi. Pick your face. Oh, he's bleeding out of his nose. Ooh, he takes uh, the shaft of the stick right to the nose. He might have broke it. That was pretty immediate blood. Yeah, what do, what do you know about broken noses? He's sleeping over there. For those of you who don't know, my dog broke my nose uh, a couple Christmases ago. It's my fault. Listen, I don't want Bobby McMahon to be out of the lineup. I, th I think he needs to be in the lineup. But if Nick Robertson is in his place because of injury, there are worse scenarios. <laughs> like, he's been great. He's been really good. Does he have some deficiencies? Sure. So, so does Bertuzzi. So does Domi. They're good. Name tags. Leafs versus Stars. Stanley Cup final. Who says no? Robo versus Robo. Yo. The Robertson brothers face each other. It's funny. They had such a hard time playing against each other for like the first couple years of their career. Because like one was hurt. One was in the minors. You know, something like that. And then to have an entire series against each other. That'd be sick. That'd be sick. You know what? I feel like gifting a membership. So I'm going to do it. No. I changed my mind. I'm not gifting a membership. I'm gifting five. Because I can just do that. And if you would like to do that, uh, bottom right of the chat, there's a little dollar rectangle. You can do it. There you go. Who got them? Uh... From Fear, Andrew, Yasuo, Vitamin Peanut Butter, and uh, Jenna, Sylvester. There you go. Leafs heading to the power play. Yeah, Benoit, it looks like his nose stopped bleeding. That's good. And it's a double minor. Interesting. Leafs just made it 4-2. Two. two goals on eight shots ain't bad. Jeez, that's a real bad high stick. Hat guy's take on the game so far. Oh, here I am. Matthews breaks a stick. Let's go, Austin. Do stuff. Do things. Score the points. Matthews has the puck. Riley to Matthews. I want him to score. Just let him. Martyr! No, I don't want you shooting. I want the other guy shooting. The Red Wings are being mean to John Tavares. As we get a whistle. 20 seconds into the power play. That was that was, that was pretty good. Uh, James DeStefan gifted 10 membership. What is that? I explain what it is. They give you money. That's pretty sick. Okay, cool. Shay gifted a membership. You're the best. Thank you. 340 to go. There's 3-4 in that. John Tavares wins a faceoff. Matthews. Nylander! We want him to score too. Reimer with the glove save, which would have been cool a few years ago. But it's not anymore. He plays for someone else. How do you wear these headphones with a hat on? Oh, you don't wear a hat. Sorry. How's this? Does this work? Detroit. Detroit. Hmm. 
Matthews and Marner. Oh, he tripped Javaris. Oh, and they don't call it. You're a poo. Red Wings can't get a shot on. Puck don't lie. Riley looks like he's hurt. We don't like that. He stays out there because he's friggin' tough, man. Yeah, he stays out. He's fine. That's what I'm going to tell myself. Matthews with the puck. Rings it around for William Nylander. Over to Morgan Riley. Mitch Marner. Matthews scores! The sex number! Let's friggin' go! Austin Matthews! His 69th of the season! Hey, Austin Matthews get laid, score goals. Hey, Austin Matthews get laid, score goals. Let's go. Let's absolutely go. Marner to Matthews. It's just so appropriate. You got to have me do this all the time. You know I'm the good luck charm, right? Hey, Austin Matthews get laid, score goals. 69 in the chat. Let's get a 69 going in the chat. Someone give 69 memberships. Please, do I stay out there for the sec? So the Leafs are now within one. They scored on the first half of the double minor. And here we go. Second unit out there. Hey, Austin Matthews, get laid, score goals. Jake McCabe fakes the pass. Lilligren. Bertuzzi. Uh, Domi, the other one. Not his dad. It's, 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 he's not in the lineup anymore. He retired. Bertuzzi! Where is he? Lilligren! Fighting a guy. Reimer tries to play with a stick. Yo, the chat's going bananas right now. Shoot that, Robbie. On! Tipped! It's in the corner. And the Red Wings clear it. I don't like that. Jeez, there's a lot of super chats I got to answer. Here's the top unit again. Marner! Ah! Matthews! I think that went in! I think that went in! I think that went in! Review it! Review it! Review it! Who's fighting Tavares? Oh, and Matthews is hurt. Oh, my God. 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 Is he okay? Is he okay? Please. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm having heart palpitations. Is he fine? He's fine. He's fine. Everyone's fine. We're fine. He's fine. Is it another penalty? Should be another penalty. He's fine, right? He's fine. Matthew scored. Oh, and he collided with Willie, and oh, he hit the boards very hard. Did this puck go in? I don't think it did. Matthew stays out there, though. God, these guys are tough. Tavares wins it. Matthews. Matthews shoots. Stop by Reimer. Nylander. Riley. Matthew. Oh, he didn't shoot it. He does this time. Stop by Reimer. That's a good save. John Tavares. Leafs were down 4 1, by the way. It's 4 3 now. Marner to Nylander. Ah, uh, Red Wings get out of the zone with it. Power play almost over. Leafs do a good job. All right, power play's over. I'm leaving. Well, that was eventful. Oh, my goodness. Why does my throat hurt? Matthew, still out there. Be cool if he scored. Red Wings clear it, and this will be icing, I believe. Yes. Holy crap. I got to go back. Uh, typical Goosey. 69. Let's go. Are you thinking about it now, Steve? I suppose I am. If it is the sex number. <laughs> Thomas, that's got to be in the LFR intro next season. I don't disagree. Uh, <laughs> Kevin Stones. Hey, Austin Matthews. Get laid. Score goals. Uh, Super Chats. $2.69. <laughs> Hat guy had a broken nose at the same time as you, Steve. What happened to hat guy to break his nose? Oh, I did, I broke it. He was getting on my nerves. 
There have been so many 69s in the chat. I can't go back further than that. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh. Let's stretch. Let's stretch. We're doing a stretch. Hey, Austin Matthews, get laid, score goals. That was a good one. Leafs, uh, new look third line. Nyes on the right wing, I believe. Holmberg is the center and Robertson out there. Now, I know Robertson has played a decent amount of right wing. I think he was a right winger in junior. He can kind of play both. I, I don't remember Nyes playing right wing on the Leafs. Here comes Robbie. Coming up the right, drops it for Nyes. It's okay. Brody recovers it with Nyes behind the net. Ah, tries to get it to Lilligren. Doesn't work. What did I tell you about the Red Wings not being able to defend, by the way? What did I tell you? The, the shots were 17 to 7, Drew. They are now 18 to 17 for Detroit. Uh, Tamu, if Matthews doesn't get 70. That would be a fun chant for the playoffs. I they should just do it anyway. They should they should do it especially if he scores seventy. What are you talking about, Brody? No uh, cross check. Ruby says I'm the biggest Leaf fan from down south in the U.S. That's a challenge to all the other down south Leaf fans. Adam, thank you. Uh, Christine, my back hurts after watching Austin Matthews go into the boards. Yes, me too. I didn't I didn't like that. Here come the Red Wings. One thing I've noticed a lot more this year, and I don't think it's just a sports net problem. I think it's just the NHL. Uh, it's now 1816, the shots. Like, they keep taking shots away. Detroit shoots. I think that was stopped by Sammy. Detroit gets it back, though. Chaos in front of the net. Matthews intercepts the pass, and Domi will help break it out. Chips it out. Not enough for ice. Matthews in pursuit. Nope, that's David Kampf. That's odd. Icing call on Detroit. Now I bet you see one of the top lines get out there. Oh no, I got a good feeling, yeah. Face off. Nyes? No, it's the fourth line, Steve. God, baby brain. I keep thinking Camp is Matthews. I couldn't be more wrong if I tried. Labushkin! Oh, that would have been sick. Matthews literally has more than 60 goals. More 60 goals than David, more than 60 goals than David Kampf. Kampf has eight goals. Matthews has 69. <laughs> can we, can we get a poll? Um, Hey, Austin Matthews. And the two options are get laid and score goals. Leafs line change, a little sloppy. 4.30 to go in the second period. The game's far from over. Nylander behind the net. Didn't have anyone in front. If he did, that would have been a pretty good scoring chance. Hooks it, sends it into the slot. Detroit's there, though. Willie chops it out of the zone. Detroit uh, pff, had guys way deep in the zone. You didn't even clear. Get out of there. Sprong know the rules or what? Aqua Gamer, Matt Nye's the scoring guy. What do you know that I don't? We need a hat guy and hype emojis, please. From Shay. Hat guy emoji would be cool. Icing on Detroit again. 334 to go in the second. Matthews out there on the ice. Hey, Austin Matthews get laid score goals. He came up with that on the spot. Oh, Jeff Petrie's in this game? Guys, tie the game. Enough wasting time. 
It's 2024. Enough. Detroit has to be offside right now. Oh, what a block by Jake McCabe, who I think blocked it with his face. Oh, he's bleeding a lot. He's bleeding a whole lot. Oh, shoot. Okay, that's a broken nose. Oh, God, I hope it's a broken nose. Oh, Jesus. That's a bad one. What do you think it was, Drew? His stick, then his face? Well, we can't tell from that angle. You always know it's bad when a guy goes right off. Ooh, baby, baby, baby. Yeah, I think he's playing with a cage. Uh, Spiteful Gannon says, did you watch WrestleMania? I did. I actually purchased it myself for my first, for the first time. I usually just go to a friend's house. Um, usually Justin Fisher, let's be honest, but now he's an AEW guy and he's too cool. Doesn't Jake McCabe get hit in the face all the time? Producer Drew asks. Yes, but it's usually from uncalled high sticks. His face has been beaten up very bad. It's never been beaten up that bad. I really, like, I don't wish a broken nose on him. It's just when I saw how much he was bleeding, uh, I wish he didn't break something else. You can fix a nose. You can play with a cage over your broken nose. If you have a broken orbital bone, I think it's going to cause more issues. Robert Bed, if Matthew scores two goals tonight, does he make the trip to Florida? I think he makes the trip. I don't think he plays. What for? Against the Lightning and the Panthers? The Lightning game, I mean, both teams are locked into their spot. I think that game might suck, to be honest. The Panthers game? I think they're going to be trying to get a piece of each other. Oh, if the Penguins beat the Bruins today, the Bruins fall to the two seed? Well, isn't that interesting? Paul Douglas, 34 scores, so he has no problem with the other. Ooh, what happened to Brody's face? What happened to everyone's face? Uh, we're back for the final chunk of the second period here after commercial break. That's true. They don't have Lenny Kravitz money. 3-10 to go in the second period. Shots 19-16 for Detroit. Score 4-3 for Detroit. Was 4-1. Leafs crawling back. And Matthews with his 69th goal of the season. Brings the Leafs within one. Marner to Tavares. Uh, can't get it deep. Labushkin holds it. Nyes is all over the lineup right now with McMahon uh, to the locker room. <gasps> Tavares shoots. Doesn't get through. Another shot off the side of the net. Marner. Penalty pending. Shoots. Scores. Johnny Toronto leaves down 4-1. They tie it before the second's even done. It was 4-1. Was. Was. Keyword was 238 to go in the second. The Toronto Maple Leafs tie it 4 4. Three point night for Mitch Marner. Let's go. Tavares could have scored earlier there. Great work from Nyes. Great shot from Tavares. Reimer is really cheating to the blocker side of his net tonight, and it's cost him two goals. Go glove, boys. Go glove. He's cheating blocker. That's how the Robertson goal went in, too. He's cheating blocker. 238 to go in the second. 4-4. Four, four. Shots 19-17. Good year. First year of the NHL. Actually, it was a horrible year. But first year of the NHL. Any year there's a world war going on is probably a bad year, you know? Ask Adam Wilde. 
Oh, Drew, too soon. Producer Drew saying Reimer and 4-1 leads. Worst lead in hockey. How dare you? Nylander, nice moves at the point. He puts it on. Stop by Reimer. It's uh, Nylander with Holmberg and Robertson again. Tavares is 27th of the season, but uh, friggin' is third in the last two games. Oh, 2DFX said the exact same thing as you, Drew. Matthews to Riley. Oh, he wanted it. Less than two minutes to go. In front for Burt. Whoa. Domi passed it to Riley. I thought he should have shot that. Matthews on. Stopped. Ooh, Bertuzzi's glove came off. Is he all right? I think he's okay. Guys, stop getting hurt. Holy sh... All right. I, I'm allowed to swear on these streams. I'm just trying not to. Domi, doing his best to keep it in. Almost works. Off to leave score here. Build a statue for Max Domi. They don't. <laughs> Detroit clears it. I think that's going to be ice, though. No, they wave it off. Oh, no, they don't. Mixed signals there from the official. Uh, Christine McAvoy, my bet when they were down 4-1 is paying uh, for these SC. What's SC? Stanley Cup? Old Bertuzzi got a puck in the hand. Uh, that's what I was worried about. Shoot. Misfit. Told you they always come out in the second. Damn, you did. You did. You really did. You're so right. All right. What just happened there? What the heck did Fisher just do? That's so weird. Matthews. Ozone draw. 115 to go in the second period. Marner is out there with Matthews and Nylander. I will take it. I mean, the photo, if those three are on the ice for goal 70, would be fantastic. Detroit has the puck, though. Probably shouldn't be lost on us. Riley gets it out. What happened there? Offside? Yeah, Matthews just said too many. You could read his lips. See, I don't think he's wrong. That's hilarious. The Hockey Night broadcast is playing the summer of 69. God, I want Chris Cuthbert to be like, the sex number. We'll be right back on Hockey Night in Canada. <laughs> That's a great point from producer Drew. If Matthew scores 70, do they stop play and do like a video tribute? Ah, see, it's not a it's not the record. It's the leaf record. 70 is so special. Like it's so what's that? They do it for a thousand points. You're right. And it's way, way, way more rare to score 70 goals in a season than it is to score a thousand points in your career. How many guys have scored 70 goals in a season? Like 12? It's not a lot. It's only like 60 goals is like 25, 23. It was 20. Then it was Austin, Pasta, Connor. Reinhardt might get there. Rogue Lee for LMAO. You said go glove on Reimer unironically. Well, Guy Boucher is on the Leafs bench now. No, but I, I'm not saying that because Reimer has a weak glove hand. I don't... I haven't watched enough of him this season to know if that's even true. Um, but on the Robertson goal and on the Tavares goal, he was definitely cheating blocker. Producer Drew says only eight players have scored 70. It's happened 14 times when only eight players have done it. Hey, Austin Matthews, get laid, score goals. Forty seconds to go in the second. By the way, I was wrong about the amount of uh, uh, TV timeouts left in the second period. Red Wings ice it again. Thirty-three seconds to go in the second period. Throw Austin out there. What is he doing sitting down? 
What is he doing sitting down? There was just icing and a TV timeout. What is he doing sitting down? Oh, you stink. You stink. Shots now 19-19. They were once 17-7 for Detroit. Unreal period of hockey for the Leafs. Down 4-1 when this period began. Tavares loses the draw. Detroit gets out of their zone. Riley collects it. 25 seconds to go in the frame. Nice. Puck hunting. And we'll get another ozone face off. 19 seconds to go. If Matthews doesn't stand up right now, I'm going to lose my mind. Why isn't he standing up? He stood up. Get over the boards. That's right. The camera just goes right to him. That's how you know something like special is going on. The camera cannot leave him alone. This is special. He could score 70 tonight and there will still be less than fewer than 10 players who have ever done it. Tavares, Marner, and Matthews are the forwards. That's crazy. Tavares is the center. Matthews, the left winger. Marner, the right winger. Lilligren and Riley are the D. Tavares loses the draw, bats it down with a stick. Oh, what a play. Matthews, ah, trying to hunt it. Ah. Detroit breaks out with it. Shot from Debrinkit goes to the moon uh, and out of play. I cannot believe the amount of whistles in this period. Yeah, Craig Simpson asking the question, what happens if Matthews scores his 70th and they call it back? Uh, they throw beer on the ice and I'm not even kidding. Fans, it would, it would, that would be bad. It would get ugly. Uh, Spenny V-dubs hate to be this guy, but what are your current thoughts on James? He kind of rattles my cage because of his history with stuff. Uh, well, oh, wait, where is it? There it is. There's a reason I had to change up the background. Matthew slow to get up there. Second period is over. <sighs> Leafs were down 4-1 at the beginning of the second period. It is now 4-4 heading into the third. Matthews, 69 goals on the season. Poll question. Hey, Austin Matthews, get later, score goals. Hit that like button. From Shay, that's right, Shay. 465 likes and 2.2 thousand watching. That doesn't make sense. Aqua Gamer. So you're saying they call back number 70, it'll be Bottlegate on ice? Yes, I do say that. Robert Bett, what would you give to hear Joe Bowen call Matthews hitting 70? Oh. Oh, don't threaten me with a good time. Oh, oh, you know that'll be tweeted out so fast. So fast. I don't get to listen to a lot of games on the radio because I'm rarely in the car um, for Leaf games. Uh, but every time I do, it's fun. I know Joe Bowen's great. Dude, Jim Ralph's great. He's really funny. He's grown on me as I've gotten older. I, I wonder why. But just his dry sense of humor is really funny. And he's gotten funnier as the years have gone on, too. Uh, Drew, do we have a clip? Because I need to visit the lavatory. Okay, we got an eight-minute clip here. Is Crosby already a top five player all time? Uh, and real quick before we throw to that, thank you, Craig Harrison. Really appreciate that. Thank you for helping a small business. And SC9, as a Red Wings fan, I'm dying inside. So is every other Red Wings fan. Don't hit guys from behind. Drew, take it away. Can, can our heads wrap around Crosby being the second best player of all time? Uh, yes. Mine, mine can. Um, we're not there yet. We're not there yet, but it's, it's, it's part of the conversation that we had on, I think it was last show Wednesday. It's, you know, there are lots of guys who have won more cups than Sidney Crosby. Crosby has three and he could get four. Never know. Mm -hmm. Um, but right now he has three. It matters 
that he has three cups in a league entirely made up of 30 teams or more. It matters. Um, you know, that doesn't diminish anything any of those Habs legends did, Leafs legends, Gordy Howe. Like, it, it doesn't diminish any of that. But it should amplify what Crosby did. The record for most cups with one team since we hit 30 is three. And he's part of that group that's tied, right? It's like Crosby, Malkin, Latang, Taves, Kane, Keith Seabrook. It's a really select group. It's a really select group of guys. So in terms of uh, a generation, literally a generation, we throw that word out too flippantly, literally a generation. In terms of winning championships, he's the greatest. He has 12 individual trophies. He's going to end up actual top, I think at least seven. Um, he's already top 10, could finish his highest top five. You could absolutely argue he's the second best player ever. Now, you got to look at, I, I think Yager gets lost because of who he played with for so long. That dude won scoring title after scoring title after scoring title. There was, there was a ridiculous stat. Um, it was something from like 1979 through like 1996 or something like that. The scoring title was only won by three different guys. <laughs> It was Gretzky, Lemieux, or Yager. It's, it's stupid. Um, you know, so you shouldn't diminish Yager, but we're, we're finally at a place where we have enough information where the hype for Sidney Crosby as a kid wasn't overdone in the slightest. This is one of the greatest players of all time. This summer, I asked a number of like high up people in hockey. Uh, who their Mount Rushmore was. And I, I couldn't believe how many people had Crosby on it. I couldn't believe. And I had to look into it and I'm like, holy shit, they're right. Jesse, are you are you ready to wrap your head around Crosby on the Mount Rushmore top four? Yeah, I don't think it's it's a difficult thing to to grasp that Crosby is good. Yeah, agreed, <laughs> agreed. No, when we're not consider, talking good. When you consider we're not talking good. We're, when you consider greatest of all time, obviously Gretzky, obviously Lemieux. Radic Dvorak was good. Bobby Orr. <laughs> like, yeah. Gordy Howe. Gordy Howe. Mm, um yeah. uh Babe Die. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, Babe Die. What are your thoughts? Do you feel like are we there? Yeah, oh yeah. Like I think we've we've been there for and the, the thing about Crosby, what he's pushing right now is the longevity factor about how long can you sustain this. And I think that's what that's the next level of greatness because he has his peak. His peak is the highest, is gonna be up there with everybody. You know, he's gonna be up there with everybody. And now that he's doing it into his later years, we're getting to the territory of what we see across other sports where it's like, okay, LeBron's been doing this for twenty two years. This it's is insane. A little absurd that he's still top 10 in the league at his age. Tom Brady has been winning. He won a seventh championship and he's, he's 39. He's 42 and he's still, what? How does this keep going? And Crosby, we're reaching the point where we're like, holy shit, Crosby's 38? Crosby's going to be 40? And he's still one of the best players in the league and he's in a heart trophy conversation? That's the next level when you start beating age. And he's he's there right now and we're looking at it and we're like, how are you doing this? And you're beating Father Time, which is supposed to be undefeated. So I think easily, uh, if he's not your top five of greatest NHL players of all time, he should be there right now. And then now it's about climbing where he's going to be in that Mount Rushmore. Now, I, I want to throw this out there to, to something that you said. Um, he's going to end up being top five in scoring. A lot of Penguins fans pointed out we never truly saw his peak. Yeah, because his best season ever, he got a concussion. If you go and look at whatever his... Uh, can, can you go and look? I think it was 11-12. Yeah. You'll know. Like, he didn't play very many games. He didn't even have that many goals, if I remember correct. But he was good for three points a night. Like, it was insane. Yeah, 11-12 was the 22-game uh, played, eight goals, 29 assists season. And then 12-13 was 36 games played, 15 goals, 41 assists, 56 points in 36 games. And and that might sound like, oh, what? McDavid and Kucherov and McKinnon all do that. Dude, no one was no. doing this. No one was doing this in 2011 or 2012. No one was close. 
And it was cut off for like a year. Mm-hmm. It was like a year. And then he came back and then he left. In his comeback game, by the way, he put up four points. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, he I was off for forever. He put up four points. It's a very good argument that the peak of Sidney Crosby's career was 2011 through 2013, where he barely played over half a season. How about this <laughs> this stat? Um, he's so he's gonna end up top five. I keep saying he's gonna end up. He's gonna end up. He's already a top five all time NHL playoff scorer. He has over 200 playoff points, Mm -hmm. 200 playoff points. What's the, what's the list of top playoff points of all time? Good question. I actually, I looked it up. The top goal scorers since Crosby and Ovechkin's rookie year in the NHL, Crosby and Ovechkin are two and three. Uh, Number one is Joe Pavelski. (laughs) That dude is one of the most underrated people in the world. Playoff points Here all time. Is. Gretzky, 382. Messier, 295. No one else had. Gretzky had almost 400. No one else had over three. Yari Curry, 233. Glenn Anderson, 214. Yager, 201. Crosby, 201. So he's tied for fifth place. He's going to pass Yager this season uh, if they sneak it in to the playoffs there. Penguins went and around. And possibly also pass Glenn Anderson. Yeah. yeah. Penguins went around this year or like even lose in seven. Mm -hmm. He might get up to fourth. Yeah. If he's two points a game, he's an alien. Yep. He's so I'm looking at, I'm looking at this list. Like, so if you were to combine regular season and playoff, uh, Curry is not ahead of him in regular season scoring. Wow. Anderson is not ahead of him in playoff scoring. It's only Gretzky, Messier and Yager. So, just off the top of my head, he's already a top five all-time scorer. Well, Eisenman, no, Eisenman's still ahead of him, but he's going to end up passing Eisenman. Mm-hmm. And this is something I remember I wrote about with Sportsnet. This was a different article. Um, in like 2016, I was like, hey, guys, like he might pass frigging Eisenman. Eisenman's sixth, I think. Mm-hmm. Lemieux's seventh, he's sixth. It's... I could do a segment on this every show for 10 minutes. Just the greatness of Sidney Crosby. Actually. Well, I think I think first take does LeBron uh, LeBron greatness every show. Great. I'll do Sid. <laughs> Great. I'll do Sid. Um, I, uh, I want to know jujitsu. We learned that last night with Ben Chirot. Hey, Austin Matthews, get laid, score goals. Na, 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 Austin Matthews. Hey, Austin Matthews, get laid, score goals. Hey, Austin Matthews, get laid, score goals. Yeah. Yeah. Crosby's a top five player. Our Bruce Rye. In the playoffs, mistakes matter. The Leafs are going to survive long in the playoffs if they keep making sloppy mistakes in coverage like tonight. Listen, I agree with you. Um, it's weird. I can you tell that I ran back to my chair? Um, I've seen enough of the Leafs locking it down that I know tonight isn't as bad as they are. I know last game isn't as bad as they are. Um, they have played some really impressive lock it down games. It's just a matter of them doing it when the games matter most, when the adrenaline is flowing the hardest it's a matter of them having some playoff success dude like please 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 craig harrison if matthew hits 70 goals tonight will keith rest him i think so uh there's not much reason to play him against florida tampa none of that not much reason you saw that friggin bump he just took Yeah. Hey, Austin Matthews, get late, score goals. There was a pl- there was a play in the Tampa Washington game where a player left on a stretcher and there was no penalty called. What happened? Oh, Drew just sent me the tweet. 
from scouting the refs. So here, tell you what, I'll pull that up on my screen. Um, oh, University of Denver officially national champions. Congrats. Let's look at this. So Mikey Azamont, oh my God, hit Nick Jensen. Oh, that's got to be, is that not boarding? He friggin' like the hit itself is fine, but it's just the distance from the boards. And Jensen folds against the board so bad. What was that, Drew? Yeah, scouting the refs go a week ago, minor for boarding or interference on this play, short of a major. Just very unfortunate outcome. Uh, Hoping the best for Jensen. So basically saying, I don't know about interference. Oh, I'd, I'd go boarding though. Ooh, if you want, it's the most recent uh, tweet. Oh, no, it's not. It's the second most recent tweet on uh, scouting the ref's uh, Twitter timeline. Wow. Oh, uh, as we put it in the chat? Okay. <clears throat> what? Spenny V dubs. Does Liverpool's future former manager Jurgen Klopp coach Toronto after Keefe? Uh he could they could do both. He could coach TFC, right? I don't even know who their coach is. I really don't. Uh Clayman V. According to Ryan Hanna, the wings need at least one point tonight or they're eliminated from playoff contention. No. Aren't they one point out? Or I guess it could have changed with an earlier game. All right, what do we got at the bottom of the standings here? So Tampa has 96. They're in. Uh, Washington has... Oh, my God. Washington has 87 with two games to go. The Flyers have 87 with one game to go. They could still make it. They probably won't. Penguins have 86, but with three games to go. Woo! And Detroit has 85 with three games to go, this being one of them. Oh, so Detroit doesn't need at least a point literally, <laughs> but if they don't, they're pretty much screwed. They could still make it, but that'd be bad. That'd be real bad. Uh, the May Grim. With the Leafs, it's not a skill issue at all. It's a consistency issue. I agree with that. They've proven they can compete with the best over the last few years. It's so difficult. Like, I just know they're not trying. Like, they're not trying their best. I just know they aren't. Um, the breakdowns are concerning. Sammy's performance is definitely concerning. <laughs> my friend matt jones shout out matt uh because in in honor of matthew's 69th goal the sex number he sent me a google search that he had it's two words nice synonym <laughs> enjoyable pleasant pleasurable agreeable delightful satisfying and then for some reason, there's the second definition, subtle, fine, delicate, minute, exact, accurate, strict, close. I, uh, I, I'm, I'm going to go with enjoyable, pleasant, pleasurable, agreeable, delightful, satisfying. I'm going to go with that. Uh, Producer Drew, do I think Detroit is regretting starting Rhymer over Lion? Hasn't Lion not been very good recently? I know he's had a good season on the whole, but he hasn't been that great lately. He had a 974 two days, two games ago. Yeah. Yeah. Especially against the Leafs. Does Detroit play tomorrow? My guess is yes. And my guess is it's a pretty good opponent. Uh, Spenny V-Dubs, what do you think of the Akeel Thomas show in LA? 
He's a high school friend. Oh, very cool. I'm very happy. Lots of bias. Yeah, he was always a guy who I thought was going to be really good. And then I think he's one of those prospects who was sort of affected by uh, COVID. He was drafted 2018. A lot of guys drafted around then uh, had their development screwed up by COVID. Uh, I think there were some injuries in there as well. But in five games with the LA Kings, his only five in the NHL, he has three goals. Good stuff, man. Really good stuff. Not not an NHL assist yet, which is funny because he's had more assists than goals in every single – Ah, that's interesting. Every single season of junior and his first season in the AHL, but in all three of his AHL seasons since his rookie year, eight goals, five assists, five goals, three assists, 22 goals, 21 assists. And now here he is in the NHL, three goals, no assists. Going for the Cy Young. Love that. Red Wings do not play tomorrow. Interesting. Hey, Steve, non-hockey thing here. Do you Did you hear about the barges in Pittsburgh last night because of the rain? No. That's one of the more interesting questions I've ever been asked on these streams. Third period has begun, by the way. Detroit fires it in. It goes into the corner. Jake McCabe not on the bench to start uh, this third period. So the Leafs, oh, I was about to say they're down to four defensemen. That's not true. Lilligren's back. Hey, Austin Matthews, get laid, score goals. Morgan Riley with the puck in his own zone. Matthews is out there. Puck in his feet. He'll dump it in. Max Domi and Tyler Bertuzzi giving chase. Kane! Giveaway in the slot to Domi! Matthews giving chase. Getting hooked by Comfer. Who Drew begrudgingly loves. Matthews shovels it into Reimer's glove and he makes the save. The Leafs, who are getting outshot 17-7 by Detroit, not to mention being outscored 4-1. It's now 4-4, and they are now out shooting Detroit. 20, I guess that would have been 21 to 19. Paul Douglas says, Steve, 10 seconds show and tell. We're going to have to do that at commercial break. I'm not doing it during the game, especially when Matthews could, could score 70 right here. He takes the offensive zone draw, loses it. Leafs try to hold the zone, doesn't work. Lilligren giving chase. Oh, Sammy plays it to Lilligren. Get back in your net there, bud. Here's Bertuzzi. <gasps> to, oh, to Matthews. Doesn't hit him, and that's a bit of a long shift. Yeah, he'll go off. Click like. Click subscribe. Tell all your friends. Shout out Robert Malloy in the chat as well. Uh, hey, Steve, did you finally get your apples? No. Adam Wilde is a liar. But... It's his birthday. So just for today, no, he's not. Tomorrow, he will wake up a liar again. Simone Benoit dumps it. Ooh. Holmberg in pursuit. Nylander had a one-timer. Sort of fanned on and only got a piece. Detroit dumps it. And another ice. How many have they had? Forget this whole game. Like, since the beginning of the second period. Oh, we got a wave going in the chat. We got a wave going in the chat. I'm not going to criticize waves in the chat. I don't know if those are bad luck. Maybe. In the building there. Matthews, ozone draw. Wins it. <laughs> Riley against the boards. Detroit put that uh, out of play, but it goes off a stick. This will be another ozone draw. At least keeping the same guys out there, probably, right? Probably, right? Probably. Matthews loses the draw. Lilligren, great job holding the zone. Oh, Max Domi over to Bertuzzi. <gasps> Matthews alone in front. Oh, he couldn't get the rebound. He was completely by himself. Oh, he's had so many chances this game. I know he scored. He could have had more than one, though. 
Matthews, great defensive stick there. He's probably going off for a change. He's been out there for a little bit. Bertuzzi and Domi still hustling out there, though. Oh, no, he's still out there. Detroit gets out of their zone, and I imagine this forward group is going to change. Ah, still over 17 minutes to go. The camera is on all over Austin. Robertson out there with Reeves. Reimer makes the save. Camp in pursuit. Is this Robertson, Camp, Reeves? Like on purpose? It's got to be. Oh, Detroit. Oh, great play. Great defensive stick from Labushkin. Really good defensive stick. Oh, please don't call that. No. It was, I didn't think it was a penalty, but it was Matthew Nyes. And I, I've said it for months now. He has the worst whistle in the league. Like the guy does take too many penalties, but holy crap, the refs give him the rookie treatment. So bad. Every 50-50 call goes in favor of go to the box, which is, I know the case for a lot of rookies, but Lilgren might've stopped a goal there. Gets his stick back, gets the puck back. John Tavares gets it out. Ooh, fortunate bounce. Unfortunate bounce. Fortunate bounce. Unfortunate bounce. Detroit has the puck. Cassie said 26 barges went loose, broke loose, and went down the Ohio River. The Ohio River's in Pittsburgh? Is that the river with... You're going to... I need more context. <laughs> Robert Bett saying, what should I say on my next podcast? Hey, Austin Matthews, get laid, score goals. Shea says, Matty seems like he's trying too hard, TBH. I don't think so. How dare you? I don't think so. How dare you criticize him in any way, shape, or form? The Red Wings ice the puck again. 1540 to go in the third. If ever you're looking at the stream and you see the clock stop, just assume the Red Wings have iced the puck. Yeah, uh, yeah. Matthews has goals in eight straight. I believe that's a personal best. I don't know if it's a record of any kind. No, I, I don't think so. I mean, at this point, Matthews has like every <laughs> leaf record. Great move from Holmberg. He has space. Shoot. Stop by Reimer. Rebound. Robertson gets that. Holmberg leaves it for Nylander, who tried to take the sharp angle shot on Reimer. Doesn't work. Goes out of play. We'll get a face off with 15 10 to go in the third period. Shots are 23 to 20 for Toronto. Holmberg has 16 points this season, up from 13 last. Wow, producer Drew, 7 p.m. games usually end at 9.30. Eh, 9.30, 9.40. Um, and there's 15 minutes of gameplay left in this. That's how many whistles there have been. <gasps> Matthew's on the ice. Red Wings clear it. Lucas Raymond chasing after Simone Benoit. Puck in the Red Wing zone. Domi chasing Ben Sherratt. Matthew's chasing Dylan Larkin, who fans on it. Matthew's to Domi, to Bertuzzi. To Benoit, Domi, around the net, doesn't quite get there. Matthews, getting cross-checked by Sherratt, reminds me of old times. Benoit, Matthews spins and fans on it. Come on. Hey, Austin Matthews, get laid, score goals. Quick shift. 14-20 to go here in the third. Tavares is out there with Willie and Mitch. I mean, listen, it sucks Bobby McMahon's hurt. I hate that. But uh, the second line is now better. <laughs> like, because uh, they, uh, instead of using 
Tavares, Nylander, Marner as this fun line that they use sometimes when they need offense. They're just using it every shift, which we were talking about on Twitter the other day. Like, why not move McMahon down the lineup and then you have better depth on uh, – or you have some rather, sorry, you're taking away from your depth, but the third line is good enough. Uh, like it's not a defensive liability or anything that you could load up your first and second lines with basically your six best forwards. Detroit with it in the offensive zone. Rebound doesn't make its way to a shot on goal. The Leafs have really, really locked it down. How many shots has Detroit gotten since the first period? Four? Ryan Reeves, over to David Kampf. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Gloved by Reimer. He didn't cheat blocker that time. That's a good stop from Rhyme time. From Optimus. Oh, commercial. 10 second game. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one. I don't know why I chose this one. The 10 second game is very difficult. Okay. Here it is. This is a little collage of things. That's on my little Canada section of the wall. Uh, this is me with Charles and uh, Francois Hamelin, Hamelin, who were uh, gold medalist speed skaters for Canada. This is me and Alex Bilodeau uh, getting uh, fast food hot dogs at Japa Dog in Vancouver. Him and his gold medal. And there's me on the Canada couch. If you want, you can go find these videos on the Nike Training YouTube channel. Look how like skinny and hot I was. No, I, just, I look like a freaking child. Um, I think I still have those shoes. And this leaf is the leaf from this couch, the Canada couch. We had to cut up a Canada Olympic jersey to make the Canada couch. And it killed us to do it. And we felt horrible about doing it. Uh, and we thought if Canada lost, it would be our fault for the bad, uh, the bad juju. And uh, that didn't happen. Believe me, I thought it happened when uh, Canada uh, let Parise tie it up. Oh, yeah, we don't want reflections of the broadcast. Um, yeah, there it is. There's my little Team Canada display. One of them. Ben M. Hey, Steve, my dad and I are Habs fans. Boo! We love LFRs. Yay! When the Leafs lose. Boo! Love you, Steve. Yay! Matthew says 10 shot attempts. Six shots on goal. Absolutely stupid. 12.56 to go in the third period. Tavares out there with Nylander and Marner. There's a guy taking a selfie of the faceoff. And they lost. It's because of you. He's wearing a Matthews jersey. Raymond! Shot! Samsonov, save. Cassie says, the Allegheny and... <coughs> back on the barge thing. The Allegheny and uh, other one make the Ohio. 26 barges broke loose. Three were empty. 11 were secured. 14 going down the river. And six went all over the dam. Did they get them? Are the barges still going? Nylander with a head of steam at least clears the zone. Jeff Petrie is out there. Get Austin out there. There's still a game to win. Like, I mean, 70 goals and all that, but there's still a game to win. Devaris to Willie! Gloved by Reimer, but he wasn't confident that he had it. Uh, Rahan, if we see you around Toronto, do you mind if we say hi? Of course not. Of course not. I was in a shopper's drug mart by my parents' house yesterday. Was that yesterday or today? yesterday again baby brain um and someone said hi to me there and i appreciated it this is what i was talking about with samsonov earlier 23 starts he's 18 4 and 1 his last 23 starts it's 
it's insane. Matthews, offensive zone draw, wins it. Domi puts it on, stop by Reimer. Reimer has been busy since the beginning of the second period. Matthews can't get to that. Ben Sherratt leading the rush for uh, Detroit. Good play from Benoit. Comfer with it. Detroit has to get onside, though, so they dump it. I thought I heard a whistle there. Benoit for Brody, who gets rocked by David Perron. Perron now down on the ice on top of the puck. So Brody uh, taking no qualms with digging at it. Ooh, big cross check from Perron. Not his first this season. Patrick Kane being chased by Max Domi at the point. Former teammates. Detroit puts it on. Stopped by Sammy and gloved. Brody and Perron might go here. That's a bop to the head of Brody from Perron. Uh, M and H crush greater peppered. If Matthews hits 70, I think you meant to ask, would you, will I eat a pepper if Matthews hit 70 and no, I friggin' won't. That's gotta be like Brody and Perron going off, right? Yeah. Brody mushes them. Perron mushes them. Neither guy to the box. We're doing playoff rules, huh? All right. I mean, okay. Leafs fourth line getting the D zone draw here. Uh, Camp out there with Reeves, and I think it's nice. Or is it Robertson again? Uh, it's nice. Out there with Riley and Labushkin. Nice off the glass. Goss to spare. Red Wings dump it again. Not icing this time. Woo! Stop by Sammy. That was a tricky play there. I don't know how that puck got through. Riley's got to giddy up and get to this puck. Oh, he does. He gets smushed. He pays a price, and the Leafs don't even get it out yet. They do now, and it's Riley who does it. Fine. I'll do it myself. 11 minutes to go in the third. Detroit has the puck. There's a lot more to lose for Detroit here tonight. They're probably uh, just hoping this thing gets to overtime. That's for sure a hand pass. Oh, Leafs trying to avoid too many men. How does that keep happening? Brody passes over to Nylander, who gets it. Nylander almost finds Holmberg. Robertson's out there. <laughs> Shea says, was that Brody being good? How dare you? Yes, it was. He's Brody's kind of a low-key rat. I like having him for those purposes. Holmberg, not the greatest pass to Robertson, but Robertson collects himself well, gets it to Willie. And any pass you give Willie is great. He stops up. Fires, blocked by Petrie. Robertson around for Holmberg. Oh, boy. No call there on Cider. Larkin over to Benoit. Larkin. Sorry, Labushkin over to Benoit. Is this going to be icing on the Leafs? Yes, it is. Ben Sherratt appeals to the official. Uh, and Matthews is out there, but it's the beginning of his shift. David Perron screaming, that's an effing penalty. Dude, you just punched a guy in the face. Like, you haven't even played a shift since you did it. Like, what are you complaining about? <laughs> Matthews, D-zone draw. It's a weird uh, group. It's Matthews, Bertuzzi, Robertson, I believe, because of the icing call. Robertson's got to get off. Sherratt shoots. That was stopped by Samsonov, I think. Puck way in the air. Still in play. You Lucas Raymond with it. Robertson's still out there. And now he's got the puck. Now he's leading Matthews. And now he goes to the bench. Matthews will dump it. Reimer out of the net to play it. Ben Sherratt with the puck. <laughs> Producer Drew goes, if this goes to OT, does Matthews play the full five minutes? Uh, yeah, he should. Lilligren takes down Larkin. What a save from Samsonov! Again, point blank. Point blank. But he makes a great save. Wow, 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 wow. Matthews stops the puck with his skate. Domi 
trying to do the same. Crowd chanting for Sammy. Brody shoots. Oh, that hit Reimer in the head and it goes out of play. 9.01 to go in the first period. You know, say what you want about Toronto being a hard place to play in. This crowd has been so in... Wow, that's a great save. This crowd has so consistently been in Sammy's corner since he's returned to the lineup. Every save he makes, and he's made a bunch of big ones, every big save he makes, Sammy, Sammy, Sammy. Great save. Uh, according to the chat, Boston is up 2 1 on, or sorry, 2 0 on Pittsburgh. I am going to check the score on the website so that I don't trust strangers on the internet. Okay. Two goals in 14 seconds. No way. Jonathan Peck, don't want to jinx anything, but please, for your Leafs to beat uh, the Red Wings. Uh, uh, to help my capital stay alive in the playoffs. Listen. The Leafs showed up to score 70 goals and kick ass. And they're at 69 goals. Listen. It's 4-4 four, four, and Matthews only has one. If you wanted to win this game, you should have had five. But now it's too late. By the way, if you go to Nick Barden's uh, Twitter account, after the stream, ideally, uh, he's got clips from the uh, Marlies game against Syracuse. First of all, Topi Nimala, who I think is the smallest, literally the smallest person the Leafs employ to be a player for them. Um, he's like 160 pounds. He got into his first AHL fight tonight. He did okay. And, uh, also there's a clip of Matt Murray, uh, warming up for the game. I don't know how he's done. I hope it's gone well. I don't even know if he played. He might've just warmed up as the backup. Under nine minutes to go here in the third period. Matthews is out there with Bertuzzi and Domi after the commercial timeout. Domi, eh, tries to spin and find Matthews. Doesn't work, but Detroit... Uh, you're not going to believe this. Chips it out so the Leafs have the puck again. Leafs dump it. Reimer out to play it. Gives it to Petrie. Leafs can't hold the zone. Yeah. Well, Drew says Detroit's playing for overtime, but they've been doing this for like two periods. Lilligan rips it. I think uh, wide. Reimer, it's funny, ever since I pointed out the glove, he's made like three or four really good glove saves. I think that one might have hurt him. You see, you saw how he reacted? That was a little odd, right? Matt, hey Steve, have you seen the open heart trailer about Henrik Lundqvist? I know of it, uh, but no. I have not seen it. 8.18 to go in the third Period. 4-4 four, four shots, 28-26 to 26 for the Leafs. Holmberg out there with Nylander and Robertson. Scramble draw. Holmberg wins it. Benoit over to Lilligren, who puts it on. Tip. Ah, Holmberg covered up by Reimer. We'll get a face-off to his glove side now. Will the Leafs change their personnel? Doesn't look like it. 8-10 to go in the third period. Click like, by the way. Click subscribe. Tell all your friends, please, and enjoy. I'm not going to make you do nothing but work, but I would like you to enjoy. Is that Peron Beacon again? Oh, it's Wallman. Or no, it's Fabry. Sorry, I, I don't know the numbers. Baby brain. Uh, Tamu, should have had five. Steve, you tempt fate too much. Ah. Uh, me and fate have an interesting relationship. I think it's more of an understanding. Nylander, ooh, interesting pass. He gets it back. On. Went for a tip. Robertson looking for someone to give it to. Ooh, 
Elusive move. Nylander had some ice there. Robertson couldn't get it to him. And the Red Wings dump it out again. I don't think that's going to be enough for ice. Uh, Nathan said horror would be Matthew scoring in the shootout. What was that? High stick and no one would play it. Detroit behind the Leafs net. Seven minutes to go here in the third. To brink it. Oh, wow. Loses Tavares, goes for the sharp angle shot, and it goes into the netting. I cannot believe how many friggin' whistles there have been in this game. Uh, is this going to be a TV timeout? Uh, no, it is not. Paul Douglas said, thoughts on the 6-7 uh, defenseman the Leafs signed? Uh, yeah. Was that, Drew? Oh, it is a TV timeout. No, it's not. Yeah, no, it's not. Um, um, Cade Weber. Really good with BU. Um, I'm, I don't think he's going to get into a game before the end of the season, but it sounds like he's joining the team. So very odd, very interesting. Sheldon Keefe was very mum about it when asked about it. I believe it was today. Matthews loses the D zone draw, immediate shot and Samsonov immediate save. He's had a solid third period. Well, the best third period you can have on account of uh, he hasn't been scored on. Tyler Bertuzzi, and that puck goes out of play. Holy crap. 6.37 to go in the third period. Penguins have scored. It is 2-1. Boston still leading the uh, Penguins. Matthews is out there with Burt and Domi. Lilligren and Riley is the D pair in the O-zone. Matthews, he wins this one. Lilligren with it. Oh, boy. Matthews, bully behind the net. Tries to wrap it around. Ooh, almost. Almost. Mo Sider gets it out. It gets away from the Red Wings, though. Riley and Lilligren need to get this out. Oh, and they don't. Domi gets it to Matthews, but he's going one on three. He chips it in. Pursuing Ben Sherratt. Marner now out there. Leafs, I think, trying to get a wholesale change. Brody up the ice to Marner, who just dumps it in and Matthews curls back for the change. He wants it. He wants it tonight so bad. Under six minutes to go here in the third. Oh, John Tavares. Out there with nice. Sheldon Keefe has had to do a whole bunch of juggling tonight. Lilligren missed most of the first period. Oh, Tavares in front. Uh, McMahon's been out uh, since, I think, the first period or second period. Lilligren finds Tavares, who's had a good game, scored in this game, in fact. He tied this game, in fact. It was 4-1 for Detroit. Leafs were up, uh, sorry, Detroit was up 4-1 after one. Leafs tied it before the end of the second, but it has been a quiet third period thanks to solid performances from Ilya Samsonov and James Reimer. And uh, that'll be icing on the Leafs. 5 one to go in the third period, and that's the fourth line out there, too. Wow. So the guy Matthews bullied off the puck there was Dylan Larkin. <laughs> Jeez. I wanted him to score that so bad, not just because I want him to score, but... He stunned Dylan Larkin on that. Uh, Producer Drew saying, is this the last TV timeout? I honestly have no idea. Oh, or are they skipping it? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's Saturday night. They're not going to miss that inventory, are they? Uh, oh, great move there from Benoit. Fourth line, Ryan Reeves leads the attack, drops it for camp. Camps to Reeves. Reeves down low for Camp, who has space. Nylander now out there. Or is that... No, it's Nylander. 
<sighs> Red Wings. The Red Wings are straight up playing for overtime. They've had a few chances, but they are dumping it every opportunity they get. Nylander, hey, doesn't get that shot on, but he gets his own rebound. He's out there with Robertson and Holmberg. Red Wings chase the puck down into the leaf zone. Morgan Riley has to find the puck in his feet. Does Leafs get it out? Andrew Doucette, see Marner not putting much pressure on the right foot? I did not see that. I'll keep an eye. The crowd's going nuts because Matthews is out there. 3.53 to go in the third. It's the third period. You have no idea how many more shifts he's going to get, right? Last home game of the season as well. Valeno and Matthews have both been killing it in the faceoff. Dot. Scramble draw. Red Wings come up with it, and they will get out of the zone. Under four minutes to go here in the third. Benoit. Oh, boy. A bit of a lazy pivot there, bud. Benoit out there with Brody. Matthews has the puck. Gives it to Domi. Gives it to Matthews. Gives it to Domi, who gets high-sticked in the face. Oh, and a power play is pending. Max Domi. Oh, he almost found Matthews. Extra attacker on the ice. Honestly? Like, the, oh, the Leafs are really taking their time here. Like, do you take your time out after this? Here comes Nylander on the zone entry. Six on five right now. Tavares shoots! <sighs> Didn't miss the net by much. Matthews to Marner. Wow, this is a long delayed penalty here. The Leafs taking very, very uh, ginger steps. Gingerly. Stepping, oh, dainty steps. Lay like, go offside with 2.45 to go in the third period. Max Domi draws the high stick. And it's definitely a high stick from Patty Kane. And oh boy, oh boy, this could get Matthew 70 and it could cost the Red Wings their season. And uh, I saw Marner doing crossovers there looking just fine. I'm, <laughs> I'm not worried about the right foot. I don't think he'd be playing. Producer Drew going, uh, I want to see Matthews cross the blue line slap shot, just like uh, Sundin did for his 500th. Dude, that goal, hat trick, overtime winner, shorthanded, 500th. Is one of the most perfect goals basically ever. And it was in some like random, I want to say fall regular season game <laughs> between the Leafs and Flames. I want to say it was like November or something. Like it wasn't even, he just crushed the thing. I have a photo. Where is it? Oh, it's hanging up over there. I have a photo of Matt, uh, Matthews. Matt's Sundin after scoring his 500th goal. You should see the guys in the photo. Like Matt Stajan, Hal Gill, Jay Harrison, uh, Pavel Kubina. Uh, crash, crash test says future cup winners just tied my Habs. Oh, they're playing the Sens. That's very funny. That's a clever joke. All right, TV timeout so the Leafs don't have to take a timeout themselves. Leafs head to the power play. Bruins up 3-1 on um, Pittsburgh now, by the way. Marner and Matthews having a long chat ahead of the power play. Oh, boy. Tavares off the draw. Nylander. Leafs hold the point. Riley. Nylander. Ooh, Matthews has it. Riley. Nylander! I mean, 
the better thing for winning this game is probably not passing it to Nylander or uh, Matthews because they're all expecting it to happen. Riley, Matthews, he's not on the greatest angle, tries to find Nylander, can't, and Detroit will clear it. It's Dylan Larkin, one of the fastest skaters in the NHL. You got to watch him. Got to watch him. Tries to cut to the middle, and Riley won't let him. Barely over two minutes to go in the third. A buck 20 to go in the power play. Matthews gains the zone to Tavares to Marner. Goes for a little skate. What is he doing? Where is he going? Oh, Marner into the slot. Tip for Tavares. That was nice. But Reimer stopped it. A minute six to go in this power play. That is the Leafs' 30th shot of the game. They're the first team to hit 30 shots in this game. Man, that's a nice play. That's a really nice play there from Mitch and a nice tip from John. Oh, and Reimer just uh, closes it up. Sheldon Keefe taking the time out to keep the top unit out there. Interesting. Interesting. Is it the Leafs timeout or the Red Wings? It's, I mean, yeah, it's got to be the Leafs. Yeah, you're right, Drew. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That's a stupid question. Yeah, yeah. Let's let Matthews rest. Nah. Uh, minute 51 to go here in the third. 106 to go in the power play. Hey, Austin Matthews, get laid, score goals. I believe it'll be John Tavares on the draw. That's right, that's right. Mitch, look at the play. There you go, there you go. Tavares has had a terrible night in the faceoff dot, and he gets kicked out. Matthews, who's been so-so, ah, loses the draw. Detroit gets the clear. Roy, right down the ice, and Sammy makes the save. Under a minute to go here on this power play. A buck 40 to go in the third. There's still a game to win here. It's not just about 70. Marner gains the zone. He faked a little pass to Matthews. It was cheeky. Tavares, bang! Oh, tip! Matthews digging at it. Couldn't get it. Most side are almost connected with an elbow. Did anyone see that? Yeah, I assume the Leafs aren't changing after all that. Oh, he had the five hole right there. Man. Oh, it was right there. Oh. Buck 26 to go in the third. 41 seconds to go in the power play. Clean win from John Tavares. Matthews shoots. Stop by Reimer. As a clean look. Riley shot. Where is it? It's up in the netting and we'll get another face off. 33 seconds to go in the power play. A buck 18 to go in the third. Oh, good shot from Austin. Good shot. Reimer's coming across. He gets the blocker out, though. Mm. John Tavares on the draw. Leafs hold the zone. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nylander on. Blocked. Come on. Riley holds the zone. Matthews. Shoot. Tavares. Marner, last minute of play in the third. Penalty almost over. Ten seconds left. Whew, my chest is getting tight. Why? Matthews! Oh, that was a great pass! Six sauce through to Marner. Yeah, 50 seconds to go in the third. Only five seconds to go in this power play, though. I'm pretty sure you take this unit off the ice. And then you probably throw... Who do you throw out there? Camp and Bert and Nice. Oh, Austin still out there. Sure. <laughs> Austin out there with Domi and Bert. He's not coming off. Yeah, Drew, you're right. Here they go. Domi, he's looking for him. <laughs> Six shots on that power play. That's crazy. 
Under 40 seconds to go in the game. <gasps> Matthews! Oh! Puck doesn't get through. Leafs hold the zone. Oh! Behind the Red Wings net. Where is it? Leafs hold the zone. They don't hold the zone. No. Lilligren dumps it in. Under 20 seconds to go. I think Matthews might be. Yeah, he's on the bench. <laughs> he's got to be exhausted. Oh, no. Oh, no. Domi just took a penalty with 10 seconds to go. Uh... I mean, Debrinket does like a barrel roll into the thing. Oh, he trips on his own stick! Which I guess he does because Domi's in his hands. He, he yeah, yeah. No, it's a good call. It's a good call. It's a, listen, listen. You need a mourning period. <laughs> when your team gets a penalty called against them, you need a mourning period. And then you go, ah, it's a penalty. 10.4 seconds to go. A faceoff win uh, would be nice for the Leafs. And they don't get it. Eight seconds. Seven. Six. Five. Oh, no. Oh, Sammy stops it with his face. Game over. I mean, not game over. You know what I mean. <laughs> Sammy makes a couple saves right there at the whistle. The horn, the final horn, and we are going no overtime. Producer Drew saying you let Matthews play the PK, right? Uh, he doesn't start though. Oh, nah, you know what, dude? It's four on three. How many four on three shorthanded goals have you ever seen? Like. How many 70 goal scorers have you ever seen? That's true. That was a really nice save from Sammy at the end there. I didn't even realize. And sure enough, like, just like we talked about, um, leave him in. And he's been solid since. Like, there was a time throughout the second period where, like, yeah, okay, well, he hasn't allowed a goal because the Leafs haven't allowed any shots. Uh, he's made some. Is there an octopus on the ice in Toronto? They, they haven't even won. You jump the gun a bit, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. Producer Drew with a great point. Sneaking that into Toronto is how'd you even do that? You must have like taped that to your stomach. I don't even remember what I was just talking about. I haven't seen that in quite some time. <sighs> All right. Uh, Chad Melbourne, start Marner Kampf. It'll probably be Kampf, Labushkin, Riley, I guess. Aqua Gamer, Sundin, Hattie, Shorty, OT, 500. Absolutely. Two bucks for each of those. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Well, we know Sammy's in net. Who else is out there? Camp for the draw out there with Brody and uh, Benoit. <laughs> oh, Benoit does not play a ton of overtime, <laughs> but uh, he's on the penalty kill. All right. Here's Dylan Larkin. He's got speed to burn. Camp tries to slow him down. Uh, Red Wings just hold the zone. Watch to bring it there. Watch him, watch him. Bad pass. Red Wings hold the zone again. Red Wings. E. 40 seconds gone. Oh, Brody. That's actually. Damn. I didn't mind that play, but they don't get it out. Ah, shh. Crap. Dylan Larkin scores and he celebrates like he just won a playoff game because he basically did. And Matthews on the bench 
not looking happy at all. Yeah, this is fascinating. He's got 69 goals. Does he play in either of the final two? The Red Wings blew a 4-1 lead, and they are this jacked up, which shows you how much they needed to win this. Del Tago gives another five subs. Shut up. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Clayman, that's what the octopus was for. You're right. Austin says, uh, dude, my Canes beat the Red Wings 4-0 in Raleigh. Wings fans threw an octopus after getting shut out in Raleigh. You know what, though? You bring an octopus, like, you got to throw it. You're committed. Yeah, yeah, you can't do a walk of shame with an octopus. Yeah, shot pass from uh, Patrick Kane to Dylan Larkin. Yeah. Uh, from Armonia. Uh, you mentioned the Marlies. Have you seen how weird the AHL playoff format is? 23 teams get in. There are buys. The NHL seating might suck, but it could be a lot worse. Do not go to the AHL for guidance. They do some genuinely weird and dumb things. They do try new stuff. Oh. That sucks. Oh, sorry. I'm watching the shootout in Ottawa shootout between the Sens and Habs. Cole Caulfield had the puck on his stick and he lost the puck. He couldn't shoot it. You stink. And he does the skate of shame back to the bench. And now Claude Giroux, I might as well stream this. Claude Giroux can win it for the Sens in the shootout. A battle between two Canadian teams with nothing to win and nothing to lose. Claude Giroux, slap shot, stopped by Caden Primo. And now the puck, the game, is on the stick of someone. I do remember the Robert Reichel. How dare you, Drew? I hated that. Uh, Nick Suzuki has to keep the Habs alive. And he's stopped by Corpus Allo. The Sens win. And Suzuki smiles because none of this matters. Okay. Uh, oh, boy. Boy, 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 boy. Well, what do you do? Well, I know what you do. You click like, you click subscribe and tell all your friends. Yeah, so producer Drew says, I want your prediction. Three-way tie, 87 points for the final playoff spot in the East. Who's the three-way tie between? Flyers, Caps, and Red Wings. The Penguins will be out of the playoffs with 86. Oof. Caps have the tiebreaker. Detroit's been so bad. Dude, they've all been... <laughs> uh, caps. Why? I don't know. Logan E says, Name of the LFR tonight should be a sad 69er. No. <laughs> no. Drew, do not write that down. Uh, a former NHL executive, I'm not going to say who, just texted me. Oh, wow. Former NHL executive just texted me. How has no one called this out? Final game of the year is going to potentially be Dubis versus Lamorello for a playoff spot. Islanders versus Penguins.
<laughs> then they, I said, oh, holy shit. And they go, you're welcome. Do your job. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. You don't tell me how to do my job. Damn. All of us at SDPN in the group chat are mourning uh, not getting to celebrate the 70th in uh, live on stream. Because that clip would have gone hard for us. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Wesley Novak says, write it down, Drew. Write all my predictions down because they're all right. Oh, wait, you were talking about the 69 thing. You know what? Sad 69 kind of goes hard. Drew says it wasn't sad, though. No, it's sad that, like, dude, he might not play. Like, that face, that face he made, he looked crushed. And they did the timeout and everything. I, I, I think they've already had the conversation with him that he's not playing. But how do you healthy scratch him? Oh! Well, yeah, that's, I mean, that's it, isn't it, Drew? What's more important, healthy Matthews or 70 goals? Healthy Matthews. That's the boring answer. It's also the right one. Is it so bad that Matthews is hungry heading into the playoffs? Yeah, Drew, it's, <laughs> what if you just keep him on the bench for power plays? I mean, you can manage his minutes. Put him on the fourth line. <laughs> oh. Damn, that sucks. Yes. So producer Drew goes, does McDavid come back against the Sharks just to get his 100th assist and leave? Yeah. I predicted that on the podcast. Honestly, he should. Screw it. Depending on what his injury is, I guess. I don't think Matthew... Uh, I don't think McDavid gives a damn, honestly. Yeah, James David Atkinson, uh, play him exclusively on the power play. You know, he scores uh, quite a bit at five on five, eh? He's pretty good. Shit. I'm sad they lost. I'm sad they lost. I'm more sad Matthews didn't get 70. If they had lost, but he got a 70th, I'd be like, ah, ah. All right, I got an LFR to shoot. Listen, that is it for this stream. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you liked this stream. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Become an SDP VIP. And hey, Austin Matthews, get laid, score goals.